Hello and welcome everybody. Hello Ryan, hello Harold. Ryan, we're gonna start in a couple of minutes. Settling in. How's everybody doing? We had a great day. We have uh, actual spring weather already. Never really had any winter weather. Perfect time to sit down and just have a relaxing time of clicking the left click and the C button all over and over and over again. Aiden, good to see you. We are kind of uh, back because of my computer trying to <laughs> end his life yesterday. My computer attempted that and made it so that I can redo my mistake with the Dulu bloodline. I should have that under control in no time. Luke, welcome to the stream. Not quite spring yet, but it certainly feels like it. The weather has turned. And we had so little snow this winter. And now, you know, when you go outside, it's like... It's kind of the weather where you still go outside in a winter jacket because you th you say to yourself, yeah, but what if it rains? What if it gets cold? And then you're outside and you're like, damn, I'm sweating. Horrible. But, you know, time to get out the nice and easy clothing. Spring is soon here. Kind of nice. Then again, I would have liked some sort of winter. That would have been kind of cool, eh? Having snow and all. No, twice where I live. Yeah. Quite amazing indeed. Let's jump into the into the game. Into the video game, as the kids say. We are at war with the Bulgar clan. And uh, I hope that my computer just uh, keeps existing for today. Now we're going to take them out. We're going to siege them down. We're going to hope that we're going to catch some people. In the last stream, we reformed Tengri. Would be uh, oh, let me think. We were anatic, aristocracy, dogmatic, and temporal. Meaning that Kulan Borigin, that's not how I pronounce it, I don't think, but meaning that she will inherit and I will prepare her for that job. And you know what? We didn't do this last time, but I'm thinking, why don't we just holy war you? Might as well, right? I'm gonna declare that war in a second. Oh, I, I need to hand out land. Good god. Let's not have a minor clan rising. A minor clan rising is actually my nightmare because they could spawn anywhere and they would certainly be incredibly strong. I do not want to mess with that. Hello, Yotchit clan. How are you doing? You are already quite powerful, aren't you? A 19, I guess. Chagatite. The real Chagatai died, I think, years ago at this point. Well, in this save. Historically, you probably didn't, but honestly, I would not know. Sartak, you get Oshruzana. Right, last time. I actually remember this. Last time we handed out Oshuzana and whatever the other two provinces are up here. Instead of uh, the one that I handed out first here, Kailam. Come on. There you go. Right, beautiful. Now let's take a look at this. Should I declare a holy war against Smolensk? This is a Smolenskian revolt. If I declare a holy war, I can't go for an invasion. That's kind of lame. I could go for a holy war though. And that holy war is practically everything. Then again, this rebellion is tiny. You know what? I'm just going to let them be for the moment. We're going to get there later. Plus 10 degrees. Uh, not a great change to Christmas, but you can call it spring. Oh, it's a dude. Mario. It is. It is a huge change, honestly. You're just surrendering to the clan rising. What does surrender even do to you? I actually don't know what surrendering to a minor clan does, but I think they're going to go independent, right? Not that I want to test it, just for the record here, but I think they just take some land and become independent. I don't think that they become a clan inside of your land. I think that would be too easy. Would uh, encourage people too much to just surrender to them. Alright, let's just take a look at you. There you go. We're going to declare the war. We, of course, have some, uh, have some stuff to do here. We need to move on. We need to take them out. Oh, they are clearly mercs. Look at that. They are not on horses. Alright, we've taken them down. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just let you siege this and I'm gonna move you over here. Take that down. Beautiful. It's fine. Honestly, you don't need to stand here. Probably shouldn't stand here. Alright, how are we doing here with the sieges? Ah, oh, that's gonna be fast enough. Honestly, don't really mind the time. I can take this one out though. Especially since they are mercenaries. We only need the top tier holding. 
actually, sorry. I thought it was this was an invasion, but it is not an invasion. The top tier holding does not matter to us at all. Not much for that. Rogodorn. Greetings back towards Berlin. Thanks for stopping uh, stopping by to the stream. Honestly, I feel uh, I gotta I gotta admit I had a bit of a nap just now and I just woke up and was like, holy crap, why am I so tired? But here we are, cracked open a cold on, and now we're gonna play some games. I think they become a clan, but I'm not sure. That would make it super easy. In that case, like, why even hand out? <laughs> why even hand out any of these titles if I can just surrender to a clan revolt? All right, this is over. Look at this. Classic, where there you are. Time to pillage. Oh, this does remind me, I need to check for, uh... I need to check for Karakorum, both for the horse statue and to keep building this up. Population growth, thank you very much. You are still being built, you have grand stables now, with uh, which gives us mounted troops plus 5% and archers plus 5%, that's okay. The prestige, honestly, who gives a crap? But gold plating, does that change the visuals? I highly doubt it, but that would look cool. I would be all over that. Horse opinion, plus 5. Alright, well. <laughs> sure, whatever you say, buddy. Hmm, disease resistance, I guess. I mean, we are gonna see the Black Death at some point, which I'm not a big fan of, but... I think it will happen. Maybe. I, I honestly, none of what we just see there actually inspires me to build it, so that's fine. Right, the commanders are on here, beautiful. Keep pillaging. Remember, we only want uh, Bulgaria, or well, Bulga, we want the capital of the Volga Bulgaria over here. Because that is all that matters to us. The entire kingdom is actually not something that we need. Chagagan the Ruthless, who cares? Uh, it's not something we need for the achievement, but it is definitely good to, you know, stop the raiding and to stop any kind of nonsense that is going on. So, every single piece of this becomes part of our realm, and I think that is exactly what we need. That is all that we need, really. I'm just gonna help you out here. And that's the end of that war. What do you want? Looting. Honestly, I don't care for that. It's just, these loot, uh, these loot missions are super easy, but they also are quite frustrating because I actually have to make out where and what I loot, and... And just not do that. What about that? How are we doing in terms of the legend building? Ooh, we're actually gonna go on the legend, uh, on the legendary journey. I might die there. I have a skill of 112 though. Oh, that's quite nice. If he lives to do that, Angry Kut, Galeyan, Ironheart, that would be great. We would get some pretty good stuff via that opportunity there. Now, with that being said, let's go back to the drawing board of handing out titles. The early shift starts like 6 in the morning. I had a comfy 4 hours of sleep. Holy crap. That sucks. Can't even give you land, huh? Otra, Suganak, and Fergana. There you go. Fergana. Oh, wow. Amazing borders that I'm just creating here. Atra. Suganak. Where the hell are you? Uh, Suganak, there you are. And then we continue over here in Caucasus. Elam. Elam, Tabriz, Azerbaijan. Can I give out one more? No, I cannot. I remember that these split. For some reason, some of these will split, like some of these clans. But I also remember seeing that the penalty for having too many clans is practically nothing. I think it's like minus two clan opinion. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think that is a very relative, uh, a very relevant penalty. Tabriz, Shirvan, Shemaka, and Azerbaijan. We have someone that is weaker, sure. Azerbaijan, thank you very much. Ervan. I think at the end we will try out crushing a rebellion just because I want to see what it actually looks like if we were to lose to one of these minor clan uprisings, but for the moment I would rather not because I do want to conquer and I'm quite... Honestly, I looked at the map and the thing is we've had a, a very good speed when it comes to conquering and taking over land, but I have been worried that it might not be enough. We have 200 more years to go. And of course, oh, I'm also an idiot. 
honestly, just actually ban me from this website. I can't forgot to marry any of the Bulgars before the war ended. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. It's actually just a straight repeat. Man, I wish I could betroth you to uh, anyone, really. Doesn't even want to normal betrothal, of course. Well, there goes the bloodline, then. Very smart, very good, and uh, highly goal-oriented. Uh, let's take all of this nonsense down. There you go. I think you are next. Oh, then again, I can't even do any... I can't even, even do any invasions right now. So let's just take a look at targets that we can destroy with a single... War. This is not a single war. Hmm. Georgia, maybe Trebizond? I don't think so, though. Ooh, what about you? Great Holy War for Crimea. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Mm, doesn't look like an optimal situation here when it comes to, declara uh, to war declaration. Then again, if I go for this, this is already very beneficial. So I think that is exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to go against Kiev and we're going to try to take them down as quickly as possible there. And by the way, look at this culture spread. <laughs> oh, very good. That's how that works in, in, in real life, by the way. That is definitely how that works. Horde comes, Horde immediately has the culture everywhere. Alright, I need some more of you. I think you can come. Where do we have the uprising chance? We have it very big over here. I'm gonna get both of you to come maybe around here. You look fine. If I declare a great war, uh, or just a war, I mean, against you. Hmm. No, that's not worth it. We're just going to go with a holy war against Kiev, and then we're going to hope that this pops up quick enough so that we can invade soon, but by god, it's actually fairly far away. Kulan's training. I've noticed that all of this focus on physical activity might be dimming Kulan's mind. My daughter has been ignoring many of her other studies and responsibilities to better refine her combat skills, openly belittling their importance compared to the art of war. I mean, smart. Very smart. Didn't actually change the skill for the better, by the way. Uh, martial skill, that is. Interesting. We're actually going to see the legend pop off, I think. Can I go against you in a single war? Oh, amazing. Very nice. Okay. Why don't you already get over there, huh? That's how the Finns made it to Finland, don't you know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to respond to that. But good point. You raise a, an excellent point. I do not care. Picking Aruspacy is actually my nightmare. Sucks. Sucks real bad. You have been taken. Thank you very much. Um, you get some land. Let me just make sure that I give him something that is actually already Mongol. There you go. Good for you. Sicily. What are you? Ah, I see how it is. No, I don't really want to do that. Trebizond. I honestly, we just have to wait for the invasions. We have infinite money anyway, so the mercs standing around doesn't really matter to us. Uh, I, I think we'll be fine, all things considered. Oh god, don't do that. Stop making me sacrifice something every goddamn time we enter a small wall. And I know that I say that in vain, of course, that's not gonna stop anytime soon. Yeah, see, I want to take Smolensk. I want to swallow that hole. Mm, would be nice. Nope, why don't you just uh, stay right here? Yeah, perfect. You know, there is a bit of a an interesting, almost meditating aspect to this playthrough, because all you do is conquer, you can't really lose, there's not much opportunity for you to do anything like that, but... Every other time, you know, when I, for example, play the Monarch's Journey, and the Monarch's Journey, since we're playing an Iron Man as well, there there are a lot of things that can go wrong. And there's a lot of things that went wrong with the Fatimids constantly uh, declaring war on us, but that is kind of nice to overcome, but it is always, always very stressful. Now with this one, where's the stress? Spreading Mongolian culture, what's the big deal? What do I need here? Probably like 190, maybe even 200, actually. Hmm... Oh no, what a rebellion. Classic. Minus 10%? Unbelievable. 
Alright, Karakorum's still building. You want some marriages? Get out of here. Stop talking to me. Did I marry off my daughters, by the way? I don't think I did. I did marry off you. Do I have anyone that is important in my prison? Probably not. Man, that's... I, I just straight up, yet again, forgot about the fact that I actually wanted to marry those people off. And I can't do it now. Yeah, there's no one there that really would be valuable or would be relevant to begin with. Hmm. Raise Chinese honor guard. Oh, that is right. I actually, no joke, I genuinely forgot that we were in a situation where we uh, got the imperial marriage after they declared war on us and it just ended in a white piece. I completely forgot about that. Ogus, are you already being destroyed? It's making you into a tributary state. I shall destroy you. War is more important. Yeah, good job. You're considering the right things. God bless you. I need 175k for invasion. Thank you for doing the math. It's not that much then. That is actually way, way less than I uh, feared. Oh. Time to sacrifice something, I suppose, as always. Um, sure, this should be enough. If this isn't enough, then what the hell is enough? Tumaloon has eloped with a notorious mercenary Komiosh. Uh, Who? <laughs> what? Who the hell is Tumaloon? What? What is going on? Right, but... Excuse me? You're 56, you know what? I do not actually care. I've never seen that event. Running off to a mercenary. Fascinating. The liberation is over. Oh, I actually need to hand out some land. I think we pillaged something. No, the how do you like this? That is Mongol. Perfect. How do you like this? Also Mongol. Wonderful. Right. Uh, how many people are here? 1,250. I shall declare war. Holy war for Ember. Yeah, Bulga are gonna come in, but who really cares? I certainly do not. Oh no, less morale. Whatever am I gonna do? I didn't even select a commander because it was too slow. Very nice. Alright, war's over. Get out of here. All right, um, 175. Okay. Ooh, look at you. You're all alone, and I can just take you out. They kind of, they're so helpless as well. Oh wow, really? Right as I leave, they're so helpless as well because there's nothing that they can pillage. There's just nothing around them anymore. It's just emptiness. Well, emptiness, and of course, Mongol hordes. They, they keep on walking over here. Hmm. Hello there. I would like to destroy you. Why, right, thank you. Yes. It's over. Appreciate your contribution. My realm. Not getting the bloodline, I will admit, stings a bit because I, you know, we're only not getting it because I'm an idiot because I just forgot about it, but I think we're gonna live. I'm gonna livestream more of these achievement runs, I quite like them. I will livestream, so I have a set of things that I will livestream no matter what because, so my plan is, I want to have all achievements in Crusader Kings 2 before Crusader Kings 3 comes up. And uh, completely independent of how the streams go, I want to livestream this one, I want to livestream Aladdin, I want to livestream uh, Never Start a Land War in, in Asia. That's what it's called, yeah? And I think that is about it when it comes to what I really want to live stream. I might do some survivor challenges, but honestly, those are so boring. I literally will just like leave the computer on and have something click the mouse to click events away. But those are at least the three achievements that I want to do, and they're going to take some time, obviously, because there's always to, uh, some conquering to do. And I thought to myself, if I am going to suffer, you know, if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it on camera, what's the difference? We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna win eventually either way. Um, I would like to, uh, dude. Hmm. Let's, I guess, spend some gold. We have so little of it. Something went uh, wrong with the construction. Honestly, I can't say that I really care about it. Like, it's nice to build this statue, but at the end of the day, I'm literally just here waiting. Things to carry on. Okay. 
Uh, by the way, ear rape warning indeed. Classic. This want to be fair to you. And here we go. God damn it. He now sits upon the dragon throne and he does not believe that I am the leader of the Tengri, uh, Tengri faith because he is an old Tengriist. What a son of a gun. Mm. Amazing. Good rebellion. Come on, just show me a promise that I can actually spot. Are we slowly but surely getting there? Oh man. Why are you so incompetent? Wait, why are you a steward? You're horrible at being a steward. Gold is looted, pillage, that's nice. I think I have to hand on yet again more land. Oh. Yes, thank you. Oh. Come on. Oh, she's excellent in intrigue, but everybody here becomes a general. That's just the way it goes. Legending my lodge is a mediocre duelist at best. Why don't I let you duel against the Protector General of the Western Protectorate? Yep, that's about right. Alright, we're gonna go into uh, invasion mode in a bit here. And I think we're gonna do several invasions in a row before we actually start pillaging. Should go perfectly fine. Can we already do it? Almost, I think. It will have risen in the meantime. Have you ever thought about doing an Ottoman series in HIP perhaps? I've been thinking about that every goddamn every goddamn second of my life. But the reality of things are, and uh, this is this is like this is my genuine opinion, I suppose. The reality of things are uh, or is that playing that late in Crusader Kings 2 is not a good idea. It is it is just straight up uh, an idea that I think is, is is just gonna go wrong because the way it works is that you essentially end up with a situation where it doesn't really matter who we invade does it like which one I guess um it, it you end up with a situation where the economy goes incredibly wacky and you just keep conquering and conquering and conquering there's not really much opposition to you anymore because the crusades just give everyone money or alternatively you will eventually just become a caliph and you know be able to blob around uh, I've honestly I have a feeling that like, people that are Caliphs in general are way too powerful. Holy crap. In the Monarch's Journey, once you become the Caliph of the Shia faith, or I guess you could also do it for the Sunni faith, because the same principle holds for both, where you have a vassal in your realm, or well, you can have a vassal in your realm, that you can push the claim for, then you revoke it and you restore it. Well, I could have just ended the war right there. Well, who cares? Um, it's just one of those things. I think it does not play very well. And because of that, I've thought about it every day because I love that and I think it, it is a really fun idea. I would love to do it. The Fall of Kiev, there you go. I would love to do it, but I have not done it. I don't think I will ever do it because it's just just not really worth the time. I don't mean this in, in a rude way, uh, way. It's just when you play it, you're just going to you know notice very quickly that not much to do. Oh, and actually, I do need to siege this down because it's sieged down by uh, Kiev. Unless I were to annex Kiev first, I suppose. And that's why I've never done it. I, I've thought about it so often. It's such a cool idea. It's such a cool starting point, too. You know, there's uh, multiple chapters where you take out Constantinople, of course, where you go for the holy cities where you have to fight and struggle against the Crusades, but all of it, it just comes with an infinite supply of money. And honestly, it's just not just not really that, uh, that great, I don't think, in terms of like actual gameplay. Uh, they really just do not support later start dates and and I, I oftentimes actually when I bring this up people bring up hey I don't think that's true I've had a lot of time uh, I, I've had a lot of you know fun in later start dates and they're very balanced they're just not balanced my man as much as we all want to hope and believe that they are they they just aren't but yeah I, I would love for that to be a, a cool option not just a weird option actually I don't even need you there do I go over there Alright, we're almost done with these two. 
We're just gonna conquer some land and then we're gonna pillage only after a couple more wars. Right, looking good. Oh, you actually do not want to go there. Thank you very much. I hope that they don't want to disturb us here. If they do, I will, of course, have the troops ready. And this time around, I'm actually looking so that we don't accidentally have all of our troops destroyed for no reason whatsoever. Don't like the idea of them doing this, though. There you go. Stopped, yeah. What you get. Now, I just want to take this, and then we got everything under our control, and we'll be fine. Yeah, I don't care. I don't know you, girl. I do not know you. Did somebody just get killed? Excuse me? Oh, my daughter killed her. I don't know who Afsa is, but good job, Kulan. Keep it up. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know who she is. <laughs> the fall of Smolensk. Uh, we're now in territory where I get, uh, you know, XP for everything we do because everything is a historical, or well, an historical goal, I suppose. Oh, and I didn't even notice. I actually do need to uh, take you out. It will work out just fine. But I do need some... Oh, no, I actually do not need some extra wars. There you go. It is done. All of this is taken, and we are going to pillage this, don't worry, but we are going to pillage this, uh, you know, after we took out everything else, really, as well. I think I'm going to just immediately continue up here. Mm, I kind of also want to continue with Polotsk. Why is Denmark here? I wish there was a feature to restore vassals who get deposed by other claimants and adventurers. I want to RP as a liege who protects their vassals. Yeah, I can see that. I, I can see the idea of it. I mean, you can try to interrupt it whenever you spot it, but, it's not, but there's definitely not a mechanic focus around it. Which start dates will be in CK3? Um, there will be 867 and 1066, uh, 1066. Those are the only two confirmed start dates. We don't know anything else. And 936... Oh, actually, honestly, I swear to God, but I think this is just me misremembering. But I swear to God that I heard something about 936, but I think that is just me indeed misremembering. I, I cannot see it as actually like a thing. I don't think that is confirmed in any way. What do you guys think about the January update? Any strong opinions on that? Any weak opinions on it? I've I've seen all of them. Still don't need to hand out any land, that's nice. Gonna dunk on you. Hmm, sure. Sacrifice, I guess. Alright, I just need this siege to win and then we're at peace with Polotsk and I can actually just declare war against them yet again. Again, we're gonna loot all of these in a bit of a down phase later on. Because nobody gets mad at us. This is the thing. If you are... What is this? Sure. If you are, uh, like us, a horde, nobody gets mad at you for holding on to land that is settled. Although they probably should be. Come on, damn invasion yet again. How long do I have to wait? And we can just uh, pillage all of this later on. That's perfectly fine. Hello, Karakorum. Thank you for telling me that you need to be built up. What about... Uh, I don't know. Cheap? Global supply limit? Max population? Morale of armies? Population growth, thank you. I don't care about those usurpations. That's fine. I don't think... Where do, where do I need to be? Is it... I, I need an integrated... An integrated calculator of this game. <laughs> Where it just tells me, hey, you will be able to do your thing in just a couple of seconds. Alright, let's just do a quick holy war against you. Ah, sh why did I sacrifice you? <laughs> the war was literally over. Well, that's okay, now it is also over. Alright, let me just see here. No invasion. I wish it would just give you, you know, the proper number. What is the percentage of your people that you actually have right now? Nine thirty-six is a great start, and I really, I really like that one. Although eight sixty-seven is probably th my preferred, like my maximum uh, enjoyment from CK two. Or a ninety k. See, the thing is, I could open a calculator on the second screen, but Satan, you have served me so well. <laughs> Why would I take a job, huh? Why would I do that? Hey, look at you. Isn't that nice? He's independent. How cute. There he goes. There he goes.
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blob very quickly here. Radical blobbing. Ooh, Poland actually gets involved in this, huh? Hmm. I think we do have the numbers, but I think I would rather clean out the north first. Right? This is all part that we need. Actually, you are not. That's interesting. This is not something that we have to take. Scandinavia is not part of the continental Western Europe uh, that we need in the description here. I think I'm just going to ignore that for the moment. Let's just go north. You know what? Let's ignore all of this nonsense over here. Let's invade where it hurts. Go in right here. Go in over there. Declare against you first. Invasion of who gives a crap. I'm gonna take it all anyway. We are gonna win that one. We are gonna take this one. Although I probably could do this and probably should do this in just a single holy war. Yeah, that invasion has been launched. This one, honestly. Oh no, this is not actually just a single holy war. Huh? Oh. Might as well just declare it at this point. He's alone? Yeah, okay. Okay, um, good. Everything working quite well. We're going to go for all of this in a second. I just want to clean up Lithuania and Belarus. Well, the Baltics and Belarus, I suppose. Where the hell are you? Vilnius occupies this. Range. I'll take it down completely or something? I don't know. I should marry that lady off for sure. Definitely want to do that, I think. Are you still under Denmark? You are. That is very annoying. I'm gonna just leave you alone then. What's the point? I don't think we take it- yeah, we do not take- I mean, no, they are still actually. They are still wrong moving. We do not take defensive attrition. So I don't actually care about any of the modifiers that we see over there. And I think I'm gonna just go towards... Yes, we're gonna go towards Novgorod up there. After you're done with Poloska, you can also focus on Novgorod, whereas you guys just focus on the heathens over here. Oh, that's actually way bigger than I thought. I did not realize that all of this was connected. But that's perfect. Okay, let's take it down. Thank you very much. Go right there. Don't want to end the war against Pelosi yet. Who the hell are you? Tabogizia. Why? Why art thou here? You are done. Very nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to go against those fellas. Just a couple of seconds here. I heard that 936 is very popular, so I'd expect it in CK3. 936 is a really good start date, but also a very disappointing start date, just because uh, the Fatimids and everything, you know, they never actually migrate. Like, there's there's so many things where you just go like, well, does this happen? Because it isn't the perfect situation to, and it never actually does. Ooh, that's a couple of troops, don't you think? What, why don't you just take them on together? Didn't even need to, but that's okay. Um, mm, I honestly think that I can focus both of you on the war here. Yeah, we're just gonna key, uh, siege them down very, very quickly and then it's over. Speaking of, and then it's over, who do I need to marry off? Throw me all my family, you. Your husband. We have a genius. Do we have any genius? No, do we have a strong person? Six years old. Does not really work well. Alright, well, quick. Fifteen, I'll take it. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah, we can't stage it quite yet. Just wait a couple of seconds here. Just a couple of months and then we push in deeper. And I think after we take the Baltic Sea, we are going to just take a break from invading and we're just gonna... Literally siege all of it down. Oh well, pillage it, I mean. It's gonna be a huge financial boost. We're taking it. We're losing quite a bit of money. I want to see where it actually brings us. We might have to get rid of some troops at some point, of some mercs, I mean. 
I mean, you know, losing money when you are 33k, what does that actually mean? Oh, and we're actually going. Holy crap, we are going. For the Eagle Warriors, I proclaim, raising my glass. The cheers around the table are boisterous and the air hangs heavy with anticipation. There's nothing left to conquer, someone laughs, raising an eyebrow conspir uh, conspiratorially. Tumaloon murmurs, have you ever been to the Delhi Karganid? A Karganid? Is that the right term? Oh, right, they were Turkish. Right, okay, yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's go. We're doing it. Um, the weapon could use some love. I would get a masterful short sword. Actually, he would work on it. I'm, uh, as I am soon to be off into the lands of the Delhi Karganid, my Marshal Karl is concerned for our troops being without leadership. Might I suggest you leave your masterful short sword behind as a token of your continued guidance? If I do not do that, uh, what will happen? Nothing? Oh, you make great progress. Oh, okay, it weakens me, but in exchange. All right, I see how it is. Sure, what the hell is this? A beautiful stone. I did not know that Genghis Khan had that. He had a stone with him. Alright, you can keep the weapon. Whatever you must. Upgraded short sword. That's what I take instead, huh? What is that? Oh, can I just re-equip this? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's not... Big. What the hell? Yeah, that's not buggy at all. Amazing. Okay. That's definitely how that was supposed to work. And did my computer just know? Okay. Good. Don't you do that again. Yesterday, it just actually destroyed itself, but here we are. Any other invasions on non-bordering nations? Um, I might be able to. I'll check in a second. Give me a moment. Population growth. Thank you very much. Could I theoretically declare against Poland? I definitely can, yeah. 100%. I, I do want to clean them up in, in the border areas, just so that I can, gen, you know, like, kind of occupy them while I pillage them in bit of a bundle so that's not too spread out. Uh, hello there. Yes, I would love to. Do I need Finland? Just checking. No, I only need to conquer up to here so that is Novgorod. Understood. I would get Novgorod, I guess. I don't really care. Like, usually you should declare for whatever kingdom you don't intend to siege down so that you only have to siege down the others, but I'll be honest with you, like, who gives a crap? We'll be fine. Uh, and you are next. Hello there. But yes, I would like to invade Lithuania. How did you know? Why is Denmark sieging you down? Hmm. Right, you guys can just hang out, have a good time. All of this, right, I remember we conquered it. Now let's take a look at the legendary journey. Yes, together we are stronger, Tumaloon. Hey, Tumaloon is the one that ran off with... Uh, Komi, uh, Komishosh, uh, Komizosh, that's right. Together we are stronger, why yes, of course. Does this actually, like, does this change the bloodline or something? Is this something about the bloodline that if you live you can get, is that changed here? I, I never actually looked at it. The files. Pretty sure Genghis Khan didn't have the stone, you probably inherited it from someone, it's a pagan artifact. Uh, let me check this out. So it's like, uh, the Axe of Perun, yeah. Original owner. I, this game starts in 1220, so I did get it at some point randomly. Fair enough. Does this does this matter? Because as far as I'm concerned, it really doesn't. I mean, honestly, the bloodline won't really matter, but it would be nice. Hmm. I think we're just gonna go with a great progress, right? Seems more beneficial to me. Watch me click this, and then a second later in chat there will be a Someone pointing out that would have definitely not clicked that. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, you know how it is. And life as in all things. Um, are they actually, I was about to say, are they actually attacking us? Can't imagine it. Yes, I would like to duel you. You come armed, I see. How about we do this one uh, one on one? Elia, yeah, who are you? Oh, pretty good actually. Your death was the only logical outcome. Man, these people are fairly strong. And my health and skill are going down, so I don't feel so good about this. I might just die, all things considered. Maybe the duelist trait would serve me better. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna just pick that up here. Uh, it takes some time, right, I remember. It actually takes some time until you properly pick it up. That's okay. Maybe we will get it on time. For it to have any impact whatsoever. Yes, I will fight you. Oh, 41. Ah, easy. You're dead, yet again. You could have known. I could have known. 
I'm I'm the one that could have known. One hundred percent. All right, easy. Continue. There you go. Wait, what? I need to take that down. Okay. Uh, I defeated yet another one. Although I did not really even see that. But that's okay. You are fine. You can... Yes, thank you. You go over there. Ooh, and we actually have the Legendary Hunter uh, event. Now, it will never happen. I think it's a 1 out of 91 chance. I must send people out to find it, absolutely. Hell yeah. Find them. Never gonna happen, but you can try. Makes you feel better. Take this down, please. Another challenge. Oh. Did not really look like a challenge. He was considerably worse than even the wor uh, the first dueler that we had. First duelist. Right, there you go. We'll go up there to Laduga. Just seated on something else. Oh, there you go. I think we're just gonna bring you down, honestly. Here we go. Another challenge. Oh wow, he's actually a good fighter. We might die here. There is there is a chance that this could be the last duel of ours. I'm dead. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He was a good fighter. At 102 against 93, we lost. Damn, that sucks. But the good news is that we have a very good heiress. Tangle Keys Kula. Look at her. 22 years old. Doing amazing work with her stats. Just what a good character. Lovely. Lovely to see. Um, I would like to have hunting. Because if possible, I would like to go on and actually... Uh, I'm only a warrior, yes. Yeah, so I'm not even on that uh, journey. Of course not. But I would like to go on and complete the uh, hunt achievements. That is one of those where I think we're never going to get it. Meaning, uh, I'll just like leave it there. Do nothing with it, you know. We will get the Rurikid bloodline here for no reason whatsoever. It's a trash bloodline in our situation. But, you know, might as well get it, I think. Are we doing in terms of... Nope, I do not want to be on top of you. Wait, what? Oh. He's left the earth. He's still got a bloodline. Oh, that is... <laughs> What? Wait, I've never died during one of these legendary gathering tours and gotten a bloodline. Oh, cool. My father has left this earthly realm, but tales of his adventures are all around us. The memory of the magnificent warrior man is sure to live on. If not in the hearts of his companions, so in the blood of his family. Personal combat skills, hunter opinion, and characters tend to keep hunting dogs. Nice. The Blackmon 3, welcome. Um, I've had a great day. Let me just take a sip from the cold one. You can get the bloodline without fighting once at all, but like, holy crap. I did not know that! I thought you would have to survive to even get the bloodline. Every time, every time I died, I would not get a bloodline. I was under the impression that that meant that I just could not get the bloodline unless I won and did not die, but... It is very clear to me now that that is definitely not the case. It has nothing to do with that. We got a bloodline, and honestly, I like the bloodline. It's a, it's a bit of a cool one. Hey, you don't actually need to go there, huh? Hmm. I'll just send you up there. Somebody has to go up there. I mean, not has to, but I want someone to go up there. Yeah, we're going to take down the Livonian or uh, Order afterwards, and then we're just going to carry on and uh, start pillaging, I think. There you go. Could you just... Maybe I should just assault this. This is a terrible province. A lot of attrition. Ay ay ay. Bad attack, but that's fine take it. I will take it. What is this uh, in terms of attrition? Uh, this will suck a little bit, but we can just salt it down and then we can spread out again. Didn't even take any attrition, that's fine. Alright, cool. Very nice. Keep on sieging. What do you guys want? You want to marry? Nope. Nobody's marrying my half-sister. Get out of here. Uh, Matrilineal marriage, thank you very much. I would like some concerts, if possible. Mm. Do we have anyone that is quick? No. <laughs> We're never gonna find a genius <laughs> or a strong person, are we? Uh, Alright, well, do we have any bloodlines? If anyone spots a house that has a bloodline, 
do let me know. I don't think that I'm spreading any, uh, that I'm spotting any. Another Ruriki, that's not really what I care about. Nope. Alright. How was your, how was everyone's day by the way? I think I asked at the start, but might as well again. Mungli and Mengu Timo, there you go. Have a good time. Okay, we are sieging this, and then we only need to take out those two, and we will be done. Beautiful. I'm gonna actually fall back here. I do want to take you out before you siege this. Hmm. The fall of Novgorod. Well, how could have that? Ha how could that have happened? May the snows of the frozen, uh, frozen north claim them. They shall never forget our might. Why does one give prestige and the other one doesn't? Why would you ever take the non-prestige option? Alrighty. You can keep sieging, that's fine. All of these are gonna be done in time and then we can actually end this war and get everything. Very nice. Oh, what is... what was that? Ah, look at that! This has ended, meaning that I can actually take them down completely now. Very nice. You will be sacrificed. This was under siege just very recently, meaning I can just take it. Also, wait a minute, people are dying? No sickness, yeah? No sickness. Stop, stop with the sickness nonsense, please. Don't you dare. Alright, you can take him out. Yeah, we, had, we were pretty lucky there with the air situation. I'm just gonna get some concerts, one of them will give me a child at some point. I just need a child. I just need a daughter. Do I have anything that is good? What about just attractive? Can I have an attractive... Uh, nope, okay, well. What about an ugly one? Let's get an ugly dynasty, okay? No ugly dynasty, are you kidding me? Um, This does work, yes? Yes, it does. Huh. Let me take a look. Um, In the realm, I need someone that is genius. Genius. And unmarried, please. I would like... Someone that is of a reasonable age and would like to marry me or, well, become my consort, actually. No, of course not. All of these are Sunni, so they are not actually inside of our hordes. You know what? I just take some random people. At this point, I'll just take anyone that is about at the age 25. Igor, welcome, yes. You will surely give me a child. Or the other way around. I will surely give myself a child with your help, Constantine. I just want to make sure that we have an heir. I think we can bring practically anyone that we uh, give birth to. I think we can pr uh, bring practically anyone up to an acceptable level of skill and, you know, stats as a whole. Can I march on up there yet? No. I do want to take you out. This is looking good. Roleplay is the answer as to why I take the non-prestige option. I don't really, I don't see the roleplay in that. Like, I don't really see the roleplay in saying I don't take this prestige. It doesn't really strike me as like all that roleplay. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, mind you, but don't look at that and go, oh yeah. This is a humble Khan, a humble Khan that just destroyed everyone. That makes sense. I, I can't really get behind that, I, I have to admit. But that could also, of course, be uh, my fault. Are you done yet? Come on now. I want to have you over there. You want to go to, to the... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Didn't I marry you off? How dare you go to the Skylords? God damn it. I read the name and only realized it afterwards. You can go over there. You're good to go. And I honestly feel like I'm almost gonna ignore the stuff that Denmark... Why is Denmark at war with you anyway? Attacking in Danish Holy War for Polotsk. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. I'm gonna just uh, sort this down. The mercs anyway. Wonderful news! A heavy mail... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Glitterhoof. Uh, I will recruit, uh, recruit you, absolutely. We have Romuven Glitterhoof. Isn't that nice? Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, <laughs> it's a horse, dude, that's great. I'm gonna build a horse graveyard, absolutely. Um, horse graveyard, there you go. We did it. 
We got him. Raw moving glitter hoof. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I send you this small gift just so that you don't hate me. Um, I want to marry you off and he wants to point. Can you... Wait, is this glitter hoof male or female? Probably male, right? Screw the eternal hunt. Yeah, speaking of which... Oh, I'm not gonna sort this down. Jesus Christ. It's horrible. Let's sort this down, though. And then we are almost at the end. Need to make sure to actually take this down as well. Perfect. We can go there. Let's get out of the country. Yeah, we're gonna take down the Livonian Order, and then we are going to start pillaging everything. I think that is the order of things that we are going to pursue here. Wait, is it a female? Oh, is Glitterhoof always a female? A 31-year-old horse. <laughs> Why aren't you invading Finland? We actually don't need it. Ixen, we actually don't need Finland for this achievement. That's the thing. Oh, and there you go. We got a hunting dog. Thank you for the bloodline, buddy. Thank you for the extra life. You love to see it. And this ends this war. Novgorod has fallen. Absolutely beautiful. And now they do actually want land, but I do have some empty land still to hand out. Look at all this empty land. So I'm... Jesus! What did you do, Kanda? Yeah, everybody hates you. Um, we can hand land... Uh, we can land... We can hand land out without giving land that still has holdings inside of it. That is the phrasing that explains the situation quite well, I think. Jesus, Russian will literally be gone in just a couple of minutes here. Once we start pillaging. Oh, that was actually a good piece of land. There we go. And then last but not least, I guess, this random person. There you go. Congratulations. You all have land now. Isn't that nice? And we're going to finish this one off. And I think we're already get, uh, going to get... Ooh, get out of there. Make sure that, like, you guys start walking first so that... Province will be empty. We're going to go against the Livonian Order first. Like, or, you know, we're gonna clean them up and then we're gonna start pillaging. That's the, the plan. News from China. Something, something tributary. Good. I could duel this man? Yes. Are you killing? How did I, how did I lose that duel? Are you joking? Oh, that's just a really bad joke. A, a horrible joke. All things considered. Good God. Just, just stop. So stop seize ah, please don't occupy too much I want to pillage those you are my enemy I guess no I'm not gonna acknowledge you as a worthy opponent I would rather become proud get out of here all right the wars are oh war is not yet over huh? unless start assaulting things down although they are very expensive to assault down hmm huh. wouldn't even accept a piece yet huh Come on, let me just take something down here. Why are they all so well reinforced? Have you seen these goddamn cities? They're guarded as if they're castles. There you go, 100%. We're not going to get everything here, but we're going to get most of it. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to be perfectly fine there. Very, very nice. How are you? How dare you, first of all? We have a truce. Of course we do. Uh, let's go for the order. And then we will literally... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just start pillaging. Let's just start pillaging. We can go for the order in a couple of minutes. Where the hell are the different cultures? Let me just take a look at it so that I can position my troops here. Um, let's go like this, right? Wanna be a bit spread out? Then we can go from there. Alright. Time to spam C. How's everybody doing? I can actually take a look at uh, a chat now. You can make glitter with your lover if you have a great garden and secluded grove. Uh, these do certainly not have this yet. Move capital to southern Europe to get pure heavy cav horde. It's very good at assaulting. Might be needed soon. That is a good point. This is absolutely nonsensical.
Man, it must be, it also, you know, it would be so frightening. Imagine being the Livonian Order. And all of a sudden, all of Russia, all of the people that you've been fighting with and against the entire time, they all just vanish. It's all empty. They're all just gone. Good God. That does not inspire confidence. The biggest thing here will be the HRE, no doubt. I don't want to waste multiple wars against them. Then again, we might have to because they're going to get so much ethnic involvement. Meaning we should just go for the biggest kingdom here, Germany. We'll see about it. We will see about that. I'll be honest with you. In some ways, I may have forgotten. Ah, oh, there you go. Right, you just moved capital. Um, I, I don't want to leave the statue behind. <laughs> um, the Southern Europe, you say, right? What actually counts as Southern Europe here? Uh, there's the regions, that's what I meant. Southern Europe. Yeah, okay, we, we, we are not quite there yet. We need a little bit... Actually, we could just probably take that down, but let's just pillage here. Let's just pillage for a start. There's going to be a lot of uprisings. There's the first one, very nice. Oh, there's the first three! Ay ay ay. Good lord. Um... You can take him out and then him, you should, you're fine taking him. Actually, you are splitting. But it's a 6k doing this, which is nice. Yeah, alright, we are on the way. Take care of it. Wonderful. Oh no. I do not want to loot a province. I do not care for those missions, thank you very much. Another peasant revolt, another multiple peasant revolts actually, my bad. Uh, okay, you're taking care of it. Lovely. The blood of a legend. They say that everyone in the castle of Kargalik spent several moons preparing for the return of Chagahan. The man has been the main source of interest and fascina uh, fascinating rumors since even before he left for the Delhi Kaganet. But reports all agree that the pomp is well deserved. What did he get here? Eagle Blood of the Fighter, right? That is a that's a nice one. What can you say? Personal combat skill plus ten. Increase the chance of looting artifacts after sieging enemy holdings. It's a nice one. You, you gotta you gotta admit it. Good for you. Inspired by legends. Really? Big bonus, but I guess that is just uh, our clan. Like, not our clan, but our society doing well. Um, you're gonna get some land here. Make sure that it is Mongol of culture, though. Beautiful. Oh. There we go. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of wars here. In the next couple of minutes. Dog is growing quickly, very nice. <laughs> that is a lot of rebellions. That is a very high number of rebellions. A lot of a legend. They say that everyone in the capital of Crimea spent several moons preparing for the return of Tumaloon. Tumaloon, welcome back, my aunt. Isn't that nice? She does not have any children. It's, she's 62. A dead bloodline. God bless her. Maybe later. Take you out right there. Oh, I forgot about you. I didn't even see you. I don't think we need that many people up here. We'll think be fine without you. Don't make me patient. Honestly, I don't really care. Probably should have uh, picked Wrath just for the effect when it comes to attacking. But I, it's, it's just one of those things. I, I do agree with people that want me to play a bit harder towards maximizing or optimizing, I should say, my uh, commander stuff and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I look at it and I'm like, if I lose because of not having more attack, then I think I've done some mistakes elsewhere. Right. Beautiful. Well, and you both go over here. You'll figure it out. Why are we going the way we're going? So many questions. I am scarred now, very nice. 
for the attraction bonus. Was it just prestige bonus? I think it might be attraction down actually. Oh no, mouth of prestige and opposite trade opinion plus 10. What is the opposite trade to scarred? Scarred? Does it count as its own opposite? Right, doing well. Where, where are you? Wait a minute. Transoxiana? Uh. Hmm. Gotta admit, I didn't really have you uh, <laughs> on mind when when we were doing this. Hmm. I guess I'll just hire some mercs or something. Alternatively, I could, of course, send my vessels down there, but you know what? Let's just hire some mercs. Blah, 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 blah. We want to hire some more mercs anyway. Oh, wow. 17,000? That's a lot of attrition you're going to take, buddy. Don't worry about it. Makes me pay you less. I like it. Okay, we are at 100% right here. Very nice. Now it's all about you and Transoxiana, huh? Hmm. A new subjugation CB on the HRE. Oh, that's right. We are a new character. We can and should 100% do that. But then I have to revoke so much. Then again, I mean, I guess I don't technically have to pillage every single piece of land, but I'd really like to. I would really like to. Can somebody take out over here, please. <laughs> They're down to 9k. <laughs> yeah, that's what attrition will, uh, will do to you. Let's just call everyone else in. Why not, right? There you go. And unfortunately, not join your wars at this time. Why don't you destroy your own troops by going over there? Oh, my, my aunt is actually the leader of the Eagle Warriors now. Very cool. Very, very cool. I remember revoking every title, a title from subjugating 769 Abbasids. PTSD from that. Yeah, that's the thing. That's exactly the thing. I, I feel like... I do want to... The thing is, you can conquer them and still get the achievement even if you don't revoke their stuff and pillage it. But I kind of wanna. You know, like, I, I do kind of wanna do that, though. Is the thing. Ah, finally! Despite as much as we have pillaged, this is the first, no, this is actually the second manpower growth modifier that we have ever gotten. Oh, they, oh, look at that. Two in a row. That's the dream. Look at that. That is the dream. Give me some prestige. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at how quicker we are growing now. Actually, we're not growing all that quickly. In comparison to what we were growing at uh, earlier. There you are. Almost didn't see her there. Hmm. And now attach to me so that we can take them out. Considering that you're already close. No, don't do what you're doing. You know what? Whatever, bro. Yeah, you could have could have aided me, but that's okay. Uh, if you lose it, that is fine. You win some, you lose some. Oh, you're already done. Wrath of the Old Gods, we now can call Great Holy Wars. Very nice. And this rebellion is over, I suppose. Very nice. We have some more mercs. That are now making the way over. <laughs> it's just so- Oh! I didn't even notice you! There are you! Oh, you belong to the same rebellion. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Please clear some alerts. <laughs> uh, you know, but I like them the way they are. <laughs> um, I like 20 of those manpower and pop events at once, but I have no idea what it's based on. I think that it is based on just chance. Because most of the time you get the, skull of the, uh, the Throne of Skulls event, but other times you can get the manpower growth events, and those are very nice. I wish we had have had, uh, we, we've had more of those earlier. But we, of course, did not. 
Look at Rum. They're doing quite well. Isn't that nice? Having a good time. Who should we grade Holy War? Should it be Poland? Be anyone. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. We're actually getting so lucky right now when it comes to getting these events. That's incredible. Genuinely incredible. And Russian is slowly but surely disappearing. Well, well, well. I would like to grant you this title. I would like to grant you uh, about this title. No? Yes. Also, by the way, I just want to make sure. Game. Every half year. Okay, that's a good auto saving interval. Uh, interval. Hey, OP, I love your vi uh, videos, especially the new uh, playthrough of the Darkest of Time series. Are you going to upload the next episode today? No, it will be tomorrow, actually. Not today. They come out every other day for the moment, and I think that's going to continue for the time being as well. But it will depend on uh, both popularity, but I think more importantly on the time frame that I have every single day. How convenient to rebel where we are. Very friendly rebels. You love to see it. And we're not making that much money. I mean, we are spending a lot of money, just for the record here. We are spending a lot of money on mercs, okay? But, hmm. The Mongols banned her. Are you in my service, I wonder? I don't think she is. I don't know if we're gonna make enough money to actually warrant carrying on having this many mercs. We have about 74,000 mercs. 74,000. How many event spawn troops are left? We have 22,000. I mean, we're doing fine. Don't get me wrong here. Hmm. But I do wonder. I do wonder. The thing is, I want to do a subjugation or a, a, an invasion war against the HRE because the way it works is I can just take everything there. With the Great Holy War, I can actually only take whatever is in the kingdom that I declare war for. No, we will not do that marriage. Thank you for asking, though. Very nice of you. Look at this. So much, so much growth. And I actually need to go on and hand out some more land. How much? Five. Yeah, so we've just destroyed a, a couple of provinces, I think. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. We got him. Yevon revolt. That was not a very smart place to revolt in. Sorry to tell you. The rise of the Hansa isn't that nice. Wow. Several German merchant uh, guilds and trade cities along the shores of Northern Europe have come together. Congratulations, Prince Mayor Wilhelm. Good for you. Crusade against our religion. Wait a minute. That's not against our religion. That's against me. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Alright, I guess we, we have to go down there. They're going for Jerusalem. Not that I... The thing about... This is the worst part about it, actually. I do not need this land for this achievement run. This is entirely uh, unnecessary. Now, if I weren't holding the leadership title, the Sky Sh uh, Temple title, I could do something about this by just, you know, for a second, converting to c uh, Catholicism. But I can't do that, seeing as we are in a situation uh, where we simply don't have that privilege. I think I'm just going to pull about, like, you out. 51k. That's fair. Make sure not to walk together. I'm pregnant. We did it. You are now the regent, sure. I'm gonna pull those out. Crusades! Here we go. I will stay healthy. There you go. Damn. Well, cool, let's make an offering. Ooh, let my son be strong. Definitely give me strength. Ah, 
I don't actually know. I'm thinking I might just, and I know it sounds strange, but I might just surrender to the crusade. Because I straight up, I do not need Jerusalem. Oh, I didn't even notice that you are here, King Rodrigo, the protector of Egypt. Oh, you're right. I am diligent. Get the manpower and pop growth pillage event when you destroy all holdings in the province and are diligent or regardless. I am diligent. That explains everything then. Ah. Huh. It's neat. It is definitely very neat. Oh, and yep, you are the Christian, aren't you? But that's only in this province. You're all going around, right? Yeah, you are. Apostate found. This random person shall burn. Hmm, sure. Ah, don't make me stress. Not like this. The liberation of Novgorod has ended. Very nice. I think, I, I mean, if I played this optimally, I definitely should just surrender. Hmm. I have 198 boats, but I think all of them are down here. Because I'm thinking I should probably also just go to Rome. Take Rome down. Honestly, I do feel like I should just surrender. Because then we can just continue with the onslaught up north. I'll be honest with you. That, that's exactly what we're going to do. Crusade is going to win. What are the conditions for the achievement? Glad you asked because this is incredibly annoying as an achievement. Holy crap, are you seeing these modifiers? Oh my god, monthly population growth. 2,200. Um, so, what we need to conquer. Hear me out here. We need to conquer Tartaria, Byzantine Empire, Empire of Rus, Carpathia, Wendish Empire, Holy Roman Empire, Francia, Italia, and Hispania. So everything that is Europe, except Pontic Steppe and Volga Ural, because apparently Paradox forgot about it when they made this achievement. They uh, did not realize that that may also be of some importance. And look at Russian being gone. There you go. Look at all these modifiers. Holy crap. I'm going to surrender to the crusade. I, I thought about it. Uh, and there's Dracula coming in and saying no surrender. Listen, please, hear me out here, okay? It's just so much more convenient. They can take Jerusalem and I will then go on and just push into the heartland of Christianity by going further west uh, with invasions. The penalty that we get for losing the crusade won't be significant enough to actually worry my uh, worry me about anything when it comes to our religion. So I do think that I am at this point committed to this idea. Being stressed, by the way, sucks a lot, but when you do... We're in a bad war, good. <laughs> I like the stream. Thank you, Jeffrey. At least one person. <laughs> Can bo can girl arm. That is a compliment, living in a world where we have anatic clans enacted. Holy shit, look at all these modifiers. That is insane. Hunt them down, whatever, dude. So glad you came. Who the hell are you? Anzi the Bull. I got a comment on that one. <laughs> God damn, this attrition sucks. Yeah, this is a horrible attrition right there. The White Bear. Then people to find it, absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, you need to get out of there. Terrible province. That one is better. All right, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna lose the crusade, and then we're gonna go and instantly destroy them. Other side, mm, disappointing. Bullstone, welcome. Won't they take all your titles? They will take the titles in Jerusalem, and that's the thing. I don't actually care about that. Oh, and look, look at that, by the way. The Jerusalemite kingdom is now Orthodox and Komnenos, so they won't even get the title. We will see a crusader Jerusalem that ha holds no coast. Oh, this is so dumb. This is almost, without spoilers, but I did something really dumb. Like, it's good, but it looks really dumb and it's stupid. Uh, to the Crusader Kingdom in the Monarch's Journey playthrough. I, I never was able to do that because I never was lucky enough to get a king in Jerusalem of that heritage. It, it was the dumbest shit that I've seen. And I think this will be equally as dumb. Settle my horse, hell yeah. Give me the achievement, please. Ah, not ambitious. 
How dare you? How are we doing, by the way? Everybody uh, converted yet? Almost. We, we got, uh, got a couple of people here. We might as well just take care of... Wait, that's Denmark. I don't really want to take care of Denmark. I do want to take care of the Livonian Order, of course. That should be quite self-explanatory, I think. Finland can be ignored. When is the next Monarch Journey episode? Yes, in 45 minutes, actually. In 45 minutes, there will be uh, another Monarch's Journey episode. Can I invade you yet? Yes. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that incredibly nice? Hello there. I'm invading you. Go over there. There we go. And honestly, just you walk over there or something. Um, why don't we continue with that by immediately going against this one as well? Because we, uh, despite my hope that we would never run out of money, I'll be honest with you, we are not that much higher than we were before pillaging. So we need to get into Central Europe if we want to pillage territory that will give us enough money to actually get out ahead here, I think. That, that is the way I see it. I think, <laughs> I think we, need to, we need to push hard. We need to push incredibly hard towards the West so that we can make more money. If we get more money, we have more money and then we'll just be perfectly fine. There you go. Those borders are nice in this game. How to avoid border go? Just uh, pillage every holding. That's really what it comes down to. I might be depressed because the bear eludes me. Oh no, not the bear. I'm also sick. God damn it, dude. We don't have any... Who inherits? Oh, Tumaloon. Interesting, but I don't have any children yet. Actually, I do, and it's a son! How dare you! How dare you be a son? God damn it. There's no sickness here, just for the record. Alright, let's take out the Livonian order here. Battle of Riga 1. I could usurp some titles, but who gives a crap? I'm gonna... Excuse me? Somebody wants to be fired. Uh, I'm just gonna... Pick up people that have hearts here. <laughs> sure, Glitterhoof. Why not? <laughs> not stupid at all. Um, I want to go for, I think, Garlic Volinia. So that I just need to get to 100% or anything close enough to it to get, you know, the claim through. Then I can call it a day. It's just one province that we will have to take uh, by other means. Where are all of you going? Nobody's going for Zazlav. Very nice. Keep it up. I have 75, uh, 74,000 mercs, yeah. And we are losing 560 ducats. It is a, a heavy loss, so we want to push on here. Now, the loss does not at all incorporate how much we are making in looting, in pillaging. And by looting, I mean just literally taking a province in, in war. It does not incorporate that at all. But yes, we are under pressure. We need to move. And I think we are still relatively fine. And I say relatively, uh, definitely with a bit of portion there, because I do not want to run out of money. That is really my top concern. Do not run out of money. There you go. Hey, can I push some of this stuff, by the way? Hmm. I mean, siege, honestly, let's just go with siege equipment. My reasoning is, we are going to be running into a piece of land that is incredibly well reinforced and I just want to have an insane amount of siege speed. Yeah, I think this was I think this was the right choice and I'm actually just going to wait. We're going to soon be at a point where I can level up siege equipment even further. Yeah, this looks good to me. This looks absolutely good to me. Let's just push uh, siege equipment further. I think that's the right move there. Living off the lands as nomads should. Exactly. That's exactly right. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. <laughs> Alright, I think we are done with you. We are. If I take you down in a fight, which I will. We'll gather up right here. Random tech points, thank you. Appreciate that, of course. There you go. Take you down. Very nice. 
Uh, the crusade will start in a second, but as I said, we don't even need Jerusalem. We do not, literally do not need it. Also, you don't want to be there. Thank you for letting me know, though. All right, we got him. The order will have fallen in a couple of seconds. we can move on. Oh, nope. Oh, Jesus. I don't want that. We can go over here, I suppose. The rest is still doing fine. Poland is in this now, but who gives a shit? Do we have enough tech points yet? No, not quite. I wish I had a daughter. We'll tell you that much. Wait, did I overlook any piece of land that they hold? I don't think I did. Well, at least not here. They might hold land elsewhere, but at least not here. Look at that. How clean these borders are so quickly. Amazing. Western Eurasian Plains is perfect for the horses to grace on, exactly. Next, we will go for Poland and whatnot, but at this point, I'm just going to leave one of you behind. You, in fact, and the rest can leave. Time to pillage all of this. Right, time to pillage all of this. We need to give out two counties, that's okay. We have enough of them. Oh, that's a Mongol county. That is also a Mongol county. Oh, we are so much quicker in terms of land now. The The initial start yesterday was a bit lower, to put it mildly. Uh, you will go here. So will you. Why do I have these two boats? Get them out of here. You'll go here. I don't really want you to go there, but you might as well. You're gonna stay here as well. You're gonna. We're gonna have two armies. And those are gonna have a good time. I'm no longer stressed. Thank you, dog. Appreciate it. Good move. Mm, I don't like this, and he is assaulting it down. We will have to take him down. And I will just do it right now. Let's just catch him off guard. Both of these are busy anyway. Oh. <laughs> the world bowed. Oh, well. <laughs> what was I to say? The world bows before the siege equipment of our people. But actually, it actually does. Wait a minute, where the hell... Doesn't actually... I mean, I guess we're not technically on the map. It doesn't actually show us. Otherwise, the map would be a lot more blue, because we would be one of the only ones to actually hold as much as we are holding there. Excellent, keep it up. Go down there. Uh, the crusade starts in 15 days. I will immediately surrender. What are you doing? Defending in Sartak for Polotsk. Ooh. Asian for... Lithuania, I guess? Oh. There we go. Uh, why are you here? You just go over there, you just go over there. You can wait right here and put blood in there. We are the best at sieging. Who could have known this to be the case? I could actually, I should probably have that done together, but I think we'll be fine. Go right there. Yeah. Crusade for Felicia. Uh, Pope man. I would actually like to surrender. <laughs> That's really dumb. No, thank you. Wow, they did it! King Arno of Crusader, a Crusader Felicia. Look at this. This is so dumb. We now have a Catholic French, only inner lands or inside of the land. There's no, there's no coast. Crusader Felicia. They named it Felicia as well because Jerusalem is now technically called Felicia. It is the dumbest of times that we live in, and yet it is our time. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, there you go. Fertilize the land. Hell yeah, that's the dream. With that being said, how dare you unseize this, I swear to God. I'm mad at you, my friend. I see that I will have to beat you up. Here we go. 
Um, you want to become a Sky Lord? Sure. Listen, all I care about is that I get more children. Why am I not getting more children? Why do I still have this damn rash? Do I not have a court physician? I do. And he's good. He's 19. Oh, well, he has skill 19. More accurately. Hmm, you keep on sieging. Very nice. That son we got is excellent, but he's a son. I cannot have him inherit. Actually, I could, theoretically, if I, if I were to change the law. Hmm. Could actually get that done. Hey, the king has 65,000 gold. Hmm, you know what? That's... <laughs> you know what? That is a really good point. Uh, anyone have a guess when is the next sale? Actually, no idea, no. Think of buying Jade Dragon. I have no idea whatsoever. How do I get his gold? Like, how do I actually get it? Hmm. How do you go about getting that? Oh, and he just usurped proper Jerusalem. Amazing. Hmm. Shifty, welcome. How would I get his gold in the most reliable fashion? How many people can be in here? 21,000, so you shall go over there. They're so desperately trying to defend this land, it's amazing. They know. They know it's all over. If we cross further west. This is going to be the Battle of the Vistula, except they're going to lose this time around. Alright, this one is almost over. Very nice. Uh, you need to carry on. You need to, you need to carry on right now. We are 263,000. We are almost full. Holy shit. We might actually grow towards being full here. Here we go. You have been destroyed. And we will instantly start pillaging that. Imprison, then taking all land, then banish. How do I keep him in prison, though? Because, uh... I guess I would have to have a war where I vassalize him and then start revoking his shit. That's the only option that I can make out right now. Uh, how are we doing over here, by the way? Oh, look at that. Good. Pretty good. Well, you're truly getting rid of this as well. You can both stay here. That's fine. We don't need you against Poland. Uh, I'm gonna keep you, and what about... You, you can both stay around. You're gonna go up there. Poland! Hello there. We were already fighting. I think now is the time to uh, continue onwards here. Poland is our war goal. What? Oh, I don't even border that, actually. Huh? There you go. There we go, indeed. Um, you continue sieging. Thank you very much. I guess I'll slaughter a cow or something? Who actually cares? Alright, keep on sieging, guys. Won't he, uh, won't he become a vassal when you use invasion and without sieging down all his titles? I don't think he would, because you take everything that is in the target kingdom, but he only has this kingdom. He would if I... Actually... No, 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 you definitely take everything. I've, I've taken, uh, I've taken land here where, where I took shit that, like, was not sieged down, but was in the target kingdom. I just took it. I'm 99, but dude, I, you know what? I want to say that I'm 99% sure, but I'm, I don't actually know. Hmm. We're definitely gonna go for him. Like, don't get me wrong here. I, I will get him. I will, at, you know, at worst, I will just do the subjugation thing. I could claim Jerusalem. If I claim Jerusalem, he would definitely, yeah, we're gonna just claim Jerusalem. That's the solution here. We're going to claim Jerusalem in the name of High Chief Bishar the Just of Jezira. Hell yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish, I think, uh, uh, Poland. Then we're going to move some troops. I could probably do that right now, eh? Why are you not even in? Then we're going to move some troops in. Uh, what matters for Poland is we need to take Gdansk and Butov. But those two can actually get that done. You know what? Why don't you just... Why don't you two... No. Hmm. I'll think about it in a second. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Oh no, right, we are at war with you. I remember. I did declare that war. 
We are trying to come and resiege. Look at how quickly the, those sieges go. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go. Give me a, a girl, please. I need a girl. Desperately. You move on. You can move on and you can move on. You know what? I... Th Screw this dude. He can keep his money. I'm going for the HRE. I will instantly Dao uh, declare... <laughs> Imagine speaking in abbreviations. Uh, I will instantly declare war on the Dao Jones, no, on the Holy Roman Empire. Yes, make an offering. I'm no longer sick, very good. Grant me a strong and healthy child, hell yeah. This war's over. Thank you. And to pillage. Living of the land. Go up there. Very nice. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well worth a nausea. Sure. Pregnancy glow. Look at me. I'm glowing. Yeah, we are actually now keeping a stable income, if you noticed. We, we've been hovering around... <laughs> we've been hovering around 30k. Oh, God. Uh, for quite some time now. I think we'll be fine. Hey, you. You get some land, yeah? Good, sh good shit. Good shit. Looking at those borders. Now, those are real borders. That's how we roll. And look at the huge progress that we have made in like 12 years, I think. We, we've taken all this, we're going to take Poland, we're going to take out the HRE in just a couple of seconds. How strong are you? 28,000. That is honestly not that insignificant. We have to take a look at that. Um, thank you. Alright, don't lag me out, please. We can move on. I actually want to move on over here, I think. Is this all Mongol now? No, not even close. Still has to be pillaged. They never rebel. The Baltics just don't rebel. What can you say? They just like to hang out and have a good time. Uh, are you all Mongol now? No, not even close. All right. Keep it up. We're gonna keep pillaging you. Uh, we're gonna just take more attrition, aren't we? 15,000? Yeah, that's a lot of attrition. 15,000 as well. Uh, what if I just split you? Here we go. That is not even close to that bad anymore, yeah. Good choice. Would it just seek something down you? The fall of Krakow! There it goes. Damn. Poor Krakow. Why don't you just clean this one up, huh? This is the real carpet sieging experience right here. We have too many clans now, I can see it already here. Meaning that some clan in some way split. I think it was the Sata clan. Yeah, this happened last time as well, before the crash. Or well, after, you know, before the crash actually. Uh, I will not be able to absorb any of these, I don't think. But the thing is that the penalty for going over the limit is actually very, well, you know, limited. We get a penalty on the clan resonant. Uh, too much competition. Need more grazing land. Minus 15. But look at that. Everyone loves us even so. So I'm not... I'm not worried. As long as they don't keep splitting, we'll be fine. If they do keep splitting, I will have to eventually revoke a clan. Which will take some time, to put it mildly. But we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Um, why don't you head on over here? Stable income. Don't do this. <laughs> I know I technically did it. But don't do this. Good lord, are you seeing these? Dude, I think the game is actually like slowly dying. Are you seeing these hiccups? When the game just decides that it had enough and, and doesn't want to do anymore. Alright, we got a new heir. That's good, that's good. She's 28. She's uh, not that great in terms of skills, but could be way worse. Why don't you marry someone? Do we have anyone that is strong? 12. You know what? Good enough. I'll take it. We'll be 32 by now, that's about 8 years, if not a bit more. 
in which the game still lets her have children, so I think that will be perfectly fine. Could be anyway. Could probably move over here. And yeah, this war's over. And uh, not for anyone's surprise, I don't think. Oh, don't you dare retake something, I swear to god. No help me, god. Dude, are you, are you seeing these? What are these frames? What the fuck is happening? Game's just like, what is the game actually doing in the background to, to force this? Uh, game's over. Opponent. Oh, you're right, actually. If, I, if you don't see it, you don't get it immediately. Still have to revoke it, which isn't too bad, but... Hmm, interesting. We could get Jerusalem this way. You're, you're entirely right, we went for Poland. Like, that's definitely one way of doing it, then. Hello there, I would like to take a chiefdom. We'll hand out all of this. So we should probably push through Jerusalem that way, then. 15,000 people. Not imprisoned by me. By the way, ear rape coming in. Please do take uh, safety measures to avoid getting dunked on. You know? Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I don't actually care about the extra clan, I don't think. Maybe I should, but I don't think that it is all that important. Wait, what? I was three then, huh? There you go. Look at this vassal map, by the way, isn't that amazing? I read some of those message alerts on the top right bogged the game down. I mean, there are a lot of them. Miss them all? No. You know what? I'm used to clicking by now. I am very much used to clicking. I could just like disable them, I guess, but I will 100% forget to enable them at, you know, any reasonable uh, in any reasonable time frame, so let's just not have that happen. So, I could, and this, I, I leave this to you, chat. I could now go for Jerusalem, or I could go for the HRE. Which one do you think should I do? Oh, oh dude! Thank you! Control left click! Oh my god! Thank you so much. I had no idea. Guys, I had no idea. God bless you. God bless all there. I think I want to go just against the HRE, eh? What do you think? HRE? What I do would be I declare war against the HRE for Germany. We siege down as much uh, of Bohemia and Bavaria that isn't Germany, obviously, in one province in Germany. And then we'll take this. I think we'll be fine with this. I'll start to revoke everything that I don't hold personally, and then we can go against them. Oh, by the way. That's a lot of HRE right there. Alright, HRE it is. This could be a tad risky. Now we have 100,000 troops, but we will be up against every single Catholic ruler. Let's just see how that goes. I want to take as much as I can, but if it becomes too tedious, because like the issue that I always have is that like in the back, stuff that I've already sieged will be being resieged and I have to micro everything. If that happens, I will just go on and... Uh, why are you not rebelling, by the way? That's impressive. Not actually rebelling. Not even close. What's that? What's... <laughs> Alright then. Um... I feel like... We're gonna be fine in that regard, I guess. But, like, I just wanna take as much land as I can from that single wall. Restarting the game could also help with lag, perhaps. Um... You know what? Before we do this mega war, like... You know, get everyone up against us. We're just gonna go ahead and save and actually, yeah. Speed, I think. Not the game. Give me a moment. Roy right back, mate.
just joined the stream and this is a blast world. Not gonna get any better. <laughs> it's only worse from here. But honestly, at this point, I am very much convinced that we're gonna be way ahead of schedule when it comes to completing this challenge. I just, I can't see how we could not be completing this challenge uh, without a problem. Barrier best, beer best cars, yeah. Hey, that's what we do. Load into the save game that I called Pain. Sounds about right, doesn't it? At the start of this stream, I will admit I was a bit worried that we would have uh, time issues, but yeah. I don't think that is of any concern anymore at all. After you do the achievement, you dunk on China? Hell yeah! I think we're absolutely just gonna dunk on China, why wouldn't we? Oh, you know what I didn't even know? So, this is not really relevant to most of you. And actually, I want to check that. Is that something that you guys can also do? Not that it will ever be relevant, just for the record here, but... So, YouTube, right? And if you weren't aware, I stream on YouTube because I actually... And I don't think it is on your side. I don't think it's available. Yeah, that, that's just half-assed yet again. So, I stream on YouTube because, you know, it's just easier. I already have, like, uh, an audience here. It's, it's more interesting to do it here. And, uh... I actually kind of like the platform. I don't think that YouTube as a platform is as bad as people make it out when it comes to streaming. It's, it's perfectly fine. But they have been adding more and more features that you could say are practically the features that Twitch already has. Like, for example, uh, making highlight uh, clips. I just noticed that. As the streamer, you can actually make highlight clips of whatever you do. I had no idea. Now, how do we do this? I want to keep you, I think, as the only rebellion troop. And then I'm going to pull you down as well. And then you can come down with me over here. This will be the only troop for Poland to clean out rebellions. Yeah. Though it grieves you deeply, of course it does. Ah, all these manual revocations. I hate it. I already hate it. Can I revoke you? No, we have a truce. I understand. Pardon me. God damn it. Stop making me revoke all of these. But I do want to plunder. I'll admit it. I'll just admit it. You know what? I guess I don't have to plunder all of them. Let's just leave them where they are. I don't, I don't actually care. Oh, here we are. I guess I'll keep what I have. You know what? Screw it. Let's just pillage these. Who cares? Uh, the rest can just exist the way it is. And you know what? Here we go. Fuck it. We're in. Invasion. Nah, you know... I think we're gonna go subjugation. Oh, can you change the screen back to normal? This time I actually am seeing it. We got him. Um, I think we're just gonna go with a... With a... Man, no. I don't wanna revoke all of this shit. I'm not gonna do that manually. It's so tedious. I'm... We're gonna do an invasion. Fuck it. Hello there. Yes, I would like to do an invasion of, uh... Germany. Why not? Here you go. Let's have some fun with you. You go over there, you can split off the 4k. You can reinforce the 4k over there. Go right there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Go about here, I guess. We're gonna take Prague, of course, in this war. You're the Polish unit over there. Very good. Actually, I'm going to pull you down. You're going to also go to war with us. You are now the Polish unit. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> good gameplay. Uh, good gameplay, guys. Good gameplay. Don't worry. Good gameplay. The top tier gameplay that you can only see on this channel. Only available. One proud Bavarian. We're making good progress, uh, judging by the size of it. Oh, the Polish are actually rebelling. Who could have known? Why did you just take care of this as well? So we have to be on the lookout because they will certainly try to attack us. Nobody else was able at this point to resist us, but I'm certain that we will see some resistance here from the Germans. We should be able to take them out easily, but you know, you definitely don't want to like, run into any trouble here. 
Hope you be trolling the audience now. I'm just uh, a boomer. Okay, boomer. Am I right, kids? Am I right? Ah, oh, shit. I mean, that is a victory, but I should have been there with more troops. Whenever we see that many troops around, you know what? I'm just gonna use you as the cleaner right now. You're gonna go around, you're gonna clean up some people. I'm gonna teach them a lesson when it comes to order, when it comes to uh, keeping your things together. I'm gonna sacrifice you because your war's over anyway. Might as well. Yeah, you're just gonna go around and you're just gonna defeat some people, yeah. Why don't you go for them over there? Very nice. Yeah. Good start. Good start to the war. We we already... Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you doing, buddy? Where's your money? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll be arbitrary or something, dude. Don't care. Don't know any of you. Did I see something? I don't think I did. That was just like the battle message. Uh, for the moment you can split again. Range of search, sure. There we go. First siege in the HRE. That's how it is supposed to go. Beautiful. Oh, I'm stressed again. Come on, man. Oh, okay. Um, actually, you're gonna be the enforcers for the moment. Why don't you just go over there? Okay. Yes, we are catching them. Good fights. Take them out. Mountains or not, who cares? Who gives a shit? Uh, don't have to loot anything else. We can loot like individual places later on. I do not care. And look at you. Yeah, this is what we're what we're looking out for you. You're almost at the level where I don't need to change you anymore. Bring back the spoils, by the way. Can I already give myself? Yeah, there you go. Horse archers attack plus thirty scythe. Of course, we have a lot of mercs now. Um, I'm still gonna go for skirmish techniques. Helps all around, I suppose. Yeah, they are gathering their troops here. Definitely. Oh, hello there. What did we just siege this one? It did declare for Germany. Yeah, it did. Okay. The fall of Prague. We've done it. And we have imprisoned Doja Ezelino, the Black of Verona. He is now dead. How did that happen? You may never know. You may never know! Now with that being said, this is of course going excellently. Say what you will. Nothing wrong with any of this. You're doing f Oh, there they come. There they are. And I'm actually just gonna scare them. I'm, I'm literally just gonna scare them away because I want to be the one attacking. Oh, I can't scare them! Not like this, mate. Um, I think we will still win, but I will definitely take this fight and I will spread you out. Oh, we, I cannot spread you out. Because you don't have enough flanks. That's okay. I'm actually gonna try to pull you in. I don't think they will be there in time, but it would be nice to have... There they go. Yeah, that's a disgustingly large charge initially there, but I think we'll be fine. Especially with these reinforcements. Arriving from two sides in no time whatsoever. Stop unseizing, I swear to god. Don't do that. I will teach someone a lesson, I guess. Oh, no one don't care. Ooh, organizer, that's sexy. But then again, organizer gives you a chance for bad strategy or for bad tactics and direct leader. <sighs> Let's just go with a classic direct leader. We are leading the center. Hello. We got sacrificed, buddy. And that is the victory and 100% immediately. Uh, actually, wait a minute, let me just... One stays, one goes. There you go. We can go over here, let's cross the Elbe. I want to siege down as much as possible. I'm not certain, as I said, I'm not certain that we're going to take down all of Germany, all of the HRE, I, s I should say, in this war. But right now it looks good. They barely have any friends. We have the Pope on, on their side. Oh no, not the Pope. Uh, it looks excellent so far. And holy shit, look at this nonsense. Uh, why don't we go with uh, Moral of Armies? Sure. I've never gotten Immortal. There's special requirements for it. Um, you have to be old and then you got to be lucky. That's the uh, what gives you high chances of doing it. Come on, everybody get out of this province. You already lost enough troops. 
Uh, that's an idiot. Don't really need to ca uh, care about that. We can go on over here. Spitgo. Welcome. Nice name. Oh, there's the right music as well. The, the, the Call of the Saps. Or oh, Steps of the Nomads. Close enough. <laughs> Become a paragon of virtue. We did it. We are amazing. Isn't that great? Uh, I need an heir. Please do give me a child. You know what? Let me just uh, step down from my obligations as an army leader. Just for a moment. Oh, this is looking good. You're going to take this in a second. There you go. Thank you very much. The more we take, the more we can pillage. And that is the dream. Of course. If we see any troops that are scary and big, we do have to uni uh, unify. Because the HRE still has 11k troops. I don't want, you know, any of these smaller ones to fall into the trap of dying. No reason whatsoever. Did you just siege that? No. Where the hell is the last siege? I swear to god, we just... Didn't we just siege something? Apparently not. Well, what can you do? I think it may have just been in one battle, probably. Your hold is looted, pillaged, and... Oh, look at that. Very nice. Um, I need to hand out two more. Now, I gotta tell you, I was very, very skeptical about this playthrough because I thought to myself, this looks so painful. But it's actually, honestly, like, it's kind of fun. If you can get over all of the clicking, uh, it, it is kind of fun. Ooh. What is the highest the audience has gotten in, perso uh, in personal combat skill? Oh, guys, what have you guys gotten? I've gotten, like, I want to say 300. But that was, like, the maximum. The Pope defeated the Mongols the last time he fought. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Uh, you can also, just for the record, become immortal when you are young, but it is unlikely because the event's likelihood goes up the older you are for the event even to pop up, I mean. Another rebellion, that's okay. Take him down. You love to see those numbers when you just completely wipe out the enemy army. You lose 81 people, there you lose 1,600. Ah, beautiful. Hmm. I will keep you split up, but only in two, actually. Oh, look at that. There they are. I don't know. We're gonna keep together then. We're gonna seek you out. There they are. Let's get him. I know I really want to see to that down, but we're just gonna interrupt ourselves here for a moment. And I will lead the army. Man, I we need a daughter. I mean, she is alright and everything, but we do need a daughter. Another re uh, rebellion? That's okay. That's a big rebellion, actually, huh? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> I just killed the Emperor. I didn't even notice. I, I just clicked through. Oh, I, I just accidentally killed the Emperor. I'm so sorry. That's my bad. That's on me, guys. Sorry. Didn't, didn't mean to. I did not mean to, okay? My bad. Just casually executing. Oh, shit. This is actually not good. Wait, what? Where are you going? Really? There's only 13k that are coming our way. The rest, for some wicked reasons, going for Ulm. They are coming. And there they are. Uh, I want you to be me. There you go. And we got him yet again. Why would you cross the river? I, I gotta ask. And I don't think they have an appropriate answer. And um, this will be done. Fine. All of these rebels are being fought. And I honestly think... Are you all empty now? No, you're not. Dude, have you noticed that none of these people down here are actually ever rebelling? They're all just very quiet about their fate. They just all realize what life is all about, I suppose. And it's like you are... I don't even know why you're there. I could fight this man. And you know what? We'll show no mercy. Hell yeah. Go. And imprisoning the Pope would have been a dream there, but unlucky. You can't always get as lucky as with the imprisonment of the Emperor. Get more people, huh? There you go. Wait, where's this rebellion? Huh. First Baltic rebellion, I think. Ooh, who are you? Bavarian Liberation Revolt. Now that is something that I like to see. 
Oh, there come 15k. I do not enjoy that. Just gonna position myself over here ominously. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Are you just resieging? What's he trying to do here? Go for Prague. Right, you know what? Mmm, I hate to do it. I'm gonna pull you together and I'm gonna pull you together. And then you as well later on. That should be fine. I think they're just going for... Not going for Prague, actually. Going for Zatech or Zatek. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna pull you guys together here in a second. Yeah, you two. All of you. Oh, isn't that beautiful? How do you do that? Oh, now they are just reassaulting, I guess. Uh, everyone go over there, thank you. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Catholic infidels have risen up in Je Jersica. Jersey Shore, more like. Am I right, guys? We've got to begin with the jokes, guys. <laughs> Classic humor. Am I already fighting is my question right now. Yes. It's okay, then. We're gonna win here. You are dead. I will mount your head, by the way. Beautiful. I do not care, Empire. You will never get me. I will fertilize the fields with your skulls. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Mongol name. Isn't that the dream that we all aspire to, you know, finally get to at some point? You go. You have two holdings. I guess she holds all of Persia, but, you know. Even so. In the, in, the, in the four campaign failed because ran out of ass. Oh god, no. Don't even say that. She does not have any children yet. Yeah, yeah you know what? Um, I want to give you a concert. Give you this bastard of ours. I don't really care. Who I give you, just make some kids, okay? Just make some kids. Go, oh, dude. Whatever. How is our horse statue doing? Are you still being built? Yes, it is being built. And look at that. Our money all of a sudden is so much higher up. Beautiful. And when we pillage the HRE, oh god, there will be so much money. So much goddamn money. Um, you just see that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm actually gonna split you. Why is this rebellion still going? It's just white peasant loot. Yeah, I don't I don't know where their troops are, that's just white peasant. Oh, you're part of this. Do you? Um, someone sieges this, the rest gets out of there. Very, very nice. 870k Mongols in the world. Oh, it's wild, isn't it? Okay, we're out of attrition hell over there, which is good. We are, of course, at 100% with the HRE, but we're not gonna... Figure that just yet. Then move on to Turingen. I'm gonna actually split you. I'm gonna be a bit more ambitious here, I think. I wanna siege down as much as is humanly possible. You can take this down. Anyone here? Yeah, you just siege this down. I just siege this down. Very nice. Very, very nice. Four Russian rebels, that's okay. This has been sieged. See, at this point, we're just, like, going in so deep that I'm kind of worried that we're just gonna run into a situation where uh, they can start unseaging it and I have to start running around in nonsensical ways. And look at that, it's already Mongol. Dobrozhin is already Mongol. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, there come 8k. We, we can easily take that down. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna reinforce right here. I mean, that's a lot of people, don't get that wrong, but... We can easily take that down. Hey, please. We do have the skill, I think. 
I would like something, what about... Hmm... World of Armies is nice. Do we have some movement speed somewhere? Just any movement speed? What are you, bugger tool? Isn't that how you make this into a... Are you settle or something? I can't remember. Clan sentiment plus two. Who the fuck builds cl uh, clan sentiment plus two? I'm serious. Oh, capital movement delay modifier. That's kind of nice. We might move it around a bit later on. No, no, don't run. Oh my god, I always told him to run. Don't do that. Do not do that. Repeat. Okay, very nice. If you're resieging this, I will destroy you. There you go. Ooh, way closer than need be, but still worth it. Remember, we can get... Oh, and we're gonna... I have to sacrifice yet another Emperor. Got him. That was a horrible fight for them. <laughs> An awful fight for the uh, HRE right there. Uh, you can stay here. You're gonna move over. Nice. Steve, welcome. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good evening. Sorry, I, uh... I, I'm keeping my eye on the prize here, on the HRE. That's why I am a, I'm a bit preoccupied, I guess. Alright, we have no other rebellions going on. We're building everywhere. That is very nice. We did just conquer... There you go. Conquer and continue. There you go. Keep it up. Keep on pushing. Ooh, see, this is what I mean. It's such nonsense. 85 people. I need to commandeer some. Get over there. Ooh, that's actually a decent amount of troops. Damn. Very decent, in fact. Look at the siege speed, though. We're doing, we're doing very well. Oh, hell yeah. Fertilize the damn fields, dude. We need six to be handed out. And Russian is practically gone. They're all Mongols now. Running through the fields. Riding their horses. Like they were meant to be. I want any... Oh, that was a Mongol province. Oh, so is this. I'll take it. Are you guys ready to see our, <laughs> our internal borders in a second here? Yeah. I'm sure they are beautiful. Ah, that was actually a good province. This. Behold! Our internal borders. <laughs> I care for Bodogor, my friends. I care. Believe me. We're gonna take them out over there. We're fighting the small ones. That's okay. This one will be over in a second. We have some big fuckers running around over there. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of army. I don't like that. Meaning I will actually just pull them together now. Because I fear. That they're going to be coming out somewhere, either in Regensburg or over here. Passau. Hmm. Can just continue. Yeah, they're all going around, like, very strange. Look at the amount of troops that we're looking at. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, okay. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? They're splitting up for no reason. I think I can, I can just destroy them there. I'm going to use these three armies to pull together. And destroy them over here, I think. Jesus Christ, are you seeing the amount of troops that they are actually pulling together now? All right, what we're gonna do is um, there they come, and they do a river crossing. Are you out of your fucking mind? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, they're dead. Wait, why? Oh, I'm in labor, aren't I? Nope. Oh, I'm in. I'm in this battle. Understood. They're not yet locked in, but I will start marching with them. And I will start marching with you. Oh, 24,000. We need to pull together right now. We need to pull together right now. When are you locking in? You're locked in now, okay. You will be there in time. 
should be fine. I'm more worried about- Oh no, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm worried about. Ah, oh, that's so painful. That's so super painful. Screw it though. More Polish rebels. Get out of here, I swear to god. Come on, just end it, please. Let him get out of here. I think I can be up there in time. I mean, I can definitely stomp him. But I don't think we can be in time. Yeah, we lost it. Damn. Oh, and that's such a rough spot right here as well. Hmm. Sucks. That sucked. Aye, aye, aye. And then, of course, all of this attrition. I feel like we might have to call it here fairly soon. Because they are now, you know, actually calling together, like, such an insane amount of troops. You just carry on over there. I think I'm actually gonna challenge you here. Not yet. I will sacrifice the life of all these mercenaries. I do not have any fear in my heart. I am giving birth. How does she do it? How does she give birth and still command troops? How does she do it? Legendary. Absolute legend. Gotta admit it when you see it. Perhaps I should have gone for a subjugation. No, because I do want to pillage all of this. And we are going to get Germany anyway. So the HRE that will exist will be like this stuff. It, it will be practically nothing. I'm, I'm fine with, like, the way it is going. I knew it would be going at the end of the day, but we're gonna get Germany, that's the thing. All I care about is that I get as many titles as possible directly so that I can just immediately uh, destroy their inhabitants. Right, you can continue. It's fighting me? Okay, you're heading my way. Are you, are you okay, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? I would rather go for multiple wars. I think that is, like, my personal conclusion on this. Oh, you don't actually have a connection, right? I think that's my per uh, personal conclusion on the topic. I would- oh, come on. Wait, that's not my son. Oh, God! Why can I only have sons? Uh, well. Goddamn sons. Every damn one of them. Keep sieging up in the north. It is proving harder than uh, expected. I, I will, I will give you that much. I, I do think that we come to the the classic point of just tediousness. But at the same time, we are destroying <laughs> every single Christian. Oh, look at that! What did we just destroy? Ah, oh, look at that! I can actually pull you out now. Good. Can you just come over there? Uh, let's hand out some more titles. One more, I mean. Of course. Here you go. Congratulations. Earned it. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna watch what they are doing over there. Just a couple of seconds. What are they doing? Are they actually going for these? Because if they are, then they are not very smart. And I think they are. Nope. Oh, that is even worse. What are you doing, buddy? You're killing yourself. Oh my god. Hey, I'm actually gonna head in there. Nope, not here, actually. That's a mistake. Oh no, I just baited him. You idiot. That should be fine. I think we'll be fine here. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Are you give it your best? Hold on. Couldn't have done that. I think I'm gonna pull you out as well. You can come down here. Let's keep sieging, guys. Uh, you get out of there. Thank you. You guys are doing well. <laughs> oh no, they sieged me down. Help. Oh, look at you, the papal guards. No more. No more indeed. Ah, you can't even assault this. How disappointing. Uh, you stay here. 
Go there. Go there. Then you go a bit further so that you can spy for us. Take out the Hansa. Ah, Check it out. It's time. Take everything down. God, destroying entire civilizations. It's hard. <laughs> uh, where the hell was that? It was up here, okay. Let's keep it up. The Christians at this point are just like, they just repeatedly walk into us. That's all they do. Oh, and look at you actually trying to fight it, huh? I mean, that's a better position than most. Would I even go into this anymore? I think I should. Yeah, definitely should. There you go. Adam. We both stay here. Okay, just making sure that we're not sieging down land that is already sieged down, like over here. That is nice. Um, we don't need any of this. For you, is this all done? It is almost done. I do not actually expect a rebellion. And if so, I can handle it with the other army. Ooh, look at that. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why did you just sacrifice yourself? Friend. Buddy. Pal. Chap. Please. Why are you doing this? And you still don't have a child, huh? Unlucky. You have been... Consider yourself uh, sieged. You are dead. Where's this? Yeah. Beautiful. Thuringen is done as well. Oh, this is actually closer of a battle than I would like it, so I'm gonna put a U in there as well, just for reinforcements. Oh, we're doing it. Fuck piecing out. Absolutely not. We're doing it. We're going in there. Now they're fighting each other still internally. This is the downfall, much like uh, the East Roman Empire. Am I right, guys? History? I, I know history words. What do you want? No, don't care. Fertilize the fields, by the way. Fertilize them, boys. Very nice. That was much of Poland, which is now all Mongol. The dream. There you go. Oh, this is great. The HRE being destroyed like that, isn't that just like, it's a, it's a very special form of cute. You look at it and you're like, should that be that way? And you know deep down that of course it shouldn't be, but you know, you still say yes, absolutely. This is the ideal form of the Holy Roman Empire. Watch me make the Holy Roman Empire disappear. Ah, what a failure of a son. No, actually, I guess I should siege this down, but I can do it from Regensburg. Very nice. You <laughs> know history? Name every ruler. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, look at that, they are actually mustering an army now. Feeling a bit lazy about marching into that, but I think what we have right here should be able to push in pretty good. I would be very confused if we couldn't win this battle right here. Especially with these small ring- oh, they just went a different way. They just were like, eh, not gonna bother. <laughs> Alright then. Um, we just suffered a loss in Turingen in effort because it took that. Jihad for Arabia. You gotta be kidding me. Can my vassals do that for me, please? You <laughs> seize this down. Why can't I give an order? Oh, I don't have any vassals active yet. Okay. My vassals can take care of this jihad. Don't worry about it. Alright, you got it. Take them out. Um, I want to fight these. There they are. I want to move you over. Fine. They're all fine. Almost. I think this should be a pretty clear victory, eh? Definitely will be. Thank you. I'm not even gonna look down there, by the way. I, I just... I hope for my vassals that they can figure it out. 
they better send their troops down there and understand how warfare works because they haven't had any in in ages for the record here i want to kind of cross the alps so that i can go for the pope that's the dream right all right we gotta who can take out in very quickly very nice yeah this is definitely friendship guys What's going on here? Where are these 4k going? Oh, I just accidentally accepted the challenge, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Bit of Paderborn. Um, you're gonna research this in a second, that's okay. What's up with France? They have been owned by the Latin Empire and Aragon for ages now. I do not know what is actually up with them. I think the, the Emperor of the uh, Latin Empire at this start date may have been a Capet. Could that be possible? I don't actually know. Is that even a thing? No, actually. It, it was just a de Cotonet. Conquered as a claimant. There you go, I guess. That's some high level moves by, by France. Getting the Empire title like that. What? Very smart. Uh, you know what? Can I just command more people? <laughs> the poor Khalif, dude. That poor Khalif, holy shit. Oh, do you try to get away? I don't think so, buddy. Um, Zelking, right? Uh, uh, where else does the Khalif... Ah, okay, no, he does hold more property there, so, like, just keep sieging, guy. We're not running out of money, either. This is excellent news, because it means that I can keep this war going. Oh. Right. I guess I kind of called you into this war, huh? Well, uh... Here's the additional troops, then. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Yeah. I think we're gonna take out the papal troops over here. And move on. Actually, you're gonna move on over here. When are you gonna be there? 23rd? 20th? Perfect. Dunk on him. And... I want to wait. Yes. Oh, right. No, I need to hand out land. That's right. Three. Come on. Where? I don't see the province. Sometimes I feel like I'm blind in this game. There you go. I still need anyone? No, there's no one even up there anymore, right? Uh, there are still some poles, but I think those are those that I'm not actually, uh, like, ending the existence of, so I'm just gonna move you out. Alright. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this shit. Absolutely nonsensical we're pulling off, uh, as well, but... <laughs> it's Crusader Kings too, guys. What do you want me to say? Um, yeah, they're walking into that trap because they're idiots. Ooh, no, that's just 1.7k. I thought it was a bit more. Bring back the spoils, by the way. Yeah, the uh, uh, invasion was definitely the right pick there, I think. That is a... An incredibly stupid amount of land that we will get directly under our control once this war's over. Absolutely nonsensical. Oh, 11k! They actually have an army! The... Holy Roman Empire managed to muster an army after all. After all of this, he managed to get a couple of people together. Try to teach us a lesson. Now, bad news for him is not gonna have a, a good time teaching us a lesson. I think that's uh, something that he isn't fully aware will be a thing. <laughs> what? Uh, hello there, Count Bjorn. Wish I was you, I gotta admit. I wish I was you. How do I get your child? Why do I not have him imprisoned? God damn it. Your child. Is this a level 6 fort? No, we can actually attack this. Though we do not want to, from the looks of it. Right, you are coming, which is good. Actually, you're gonna, you should go. Wait, did they just unseat this? Maybe. I don't think they did. 
It's a bear. There, so... <laughs> you know how rarely I see bears in this game? But they do exist. They can become rulers. And you can even become a bear. I wish Paradox also included brown bears as well as polar bears. I agree, actually. Why not, right? All those things. Why not go all the way if you're going uh, half the way already? Hey, give me a daughter, please. Wait, how old am I? Yeah, I do give me a daughter. I think I'll live long enough. Make it matter. Oh, look at that. We're gonna have a big battle here. Oh, they... Walking away, huh? Can I pull you in? I totally can. Yeah, fools! You do not know what you're doing, guy. You do not. You have no idea. Uh, I will make an offering to the gods. Absolutely. Give me... Uh, what about... You know what? All of the strong children were the boys, so let's just get a smart one. There you go. Um, I will defend this. That's fine. I need a better one on the flank, though. Th oh, not actually better. That's okay. Uh, why don't you just head down over there? Don't worry about it. Get yeeted, son. Get absolutely yeeted. And the Alps are being crossed as we speak. Beautiful. Um, okay, you just siege that down. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we surrender. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. The Jihad fails. Who could have known? Who could have known? Uh, you can attach to me. That's fine. Not that that will ever be relevant. Sacrifice. All of them. Let's get into the next battle before the next tick. So that I don't actually have to take the attrition. If we're lucky, then we're not going to beat them quick enough. But I think we are. I think we are simply too strong. Oh no. Ah, we missed the tick. Beautiful. We got away from the tick. That is lovely. Um, you can stay here. You will f pursue these. And you will siege down mines. Yeah, the HRE will never be the same. <laughs> am I not already stressed? I swear. Yeah, I am already stressed. Uh, minor rest. Yes, I am carrying a soldier, I guess. Who cares? Give me a daughter, please. Ooh, an actual army? How did that happen? Alright, I'll follow. Okay, almost done. And here we are done. <laughs> this is absolutely stupid. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna take them out completely now. I'm gonna- I can take them out completely at a later date. I think we're just gonna take them out. I wanna have this stuff and then like as much from this as I can have. And I mean, we can have practically, I guess, everything. But I think at some point I just wanna pillage, right? At some point you just wanna start pillaging. Yes, fertilize the fields, by the way. We weren't fully aware yet. We are doing that quite a bit. What is our growth? Oh, only 719. That's not that good. It's not that good at all. How dare you. Everyone loves us. The way it should be. Up there. Holland has fallen. Oh, did I imprison him again? <laughs> Every time. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Speaking of which, by the way, uh, let's just clean up a bit, yeah? Warning. There will be a very loud sound the second. And yes, we are reformed Tengri, by the way. <laughs> yep, there you go. Um, new Emperor, welcome. Emmerich, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hope you're enjoying your job so far. I've met your predecessors. We we were not good friends, I have to say. That it didn't work out in our personal relationship. Alright, doing well. Oh look at that, dude. Yeah, no. I'm honestly all of the heirs that we've got and never actually got because we just didn't die, they were okay. I, I think most of them, if not all of them, are just generally all right. Battle of Marburg, huh? 
Uh, you go to Krain. We're gonna take Slovenia here under our control. Alright, looking good. I wanna obviously stop this nonsense, but we'll do that in a second. Go there and then to Worms. This is the dream. This is what Mongols live for. This is why I did all of these goddamn achievement runs. So that I could ultimately build up the hope and the skill to conquer all of the Holy Roman Empire in one... <laughs> well, Emmerich, you had, you know, had your time. What can I say? Could have gone better for you. Could have gone worse. <laughs> Who is this? Liotbrand. Not good for you. <laughs> oh, that's good. Is it possible to become Genghis Khan as a horse? I think actually... Ah, uh, no, it's not really... Like, it's difficult. I think you have, you have to abuse some abilities. Primarily because to become Genghis Khan, you need to be Mongol. But to be Mongol, you would have to change your culture. And to change your culture, you would have to either abuse some mechanics or it's very, very, very difficult to do it if you are under Nomad. Uh, practically impossible because uh, people of different culture are just excluded from the inheritance. That's really the, the troublesome part then. And we got another son. Fuck. God damn it. Can you finally get a child? Can somebody here get a child, please? Please, just anyone. Um, yes. Find the artifact, I guess. Yes, I will go hunt. Cool. Okay. And we have reached Mediterranean Sea. And keep sieging. Beautiful. That's okay. This who cares. Looking good. We're going to be done with the east in a second, and then we can go thoroughly to the west. Very nice. What can I say? Very, very nice. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be horrible. <laughs> Probably for my CPU, but also for the world. Um, you can carry on. We haven't had to hand out any any new land in ages, right? I have the feeling at the very least. And I think I'm just gonna fall on down on you. Actually, I'm just gonna fall on uh, fall down on you over here. Why not? Oh, they're gonna... Right, got away. There you go. Got him, boys. Uh, thank you. See, I gotta ask though, if you're a commander, right? If you're a commander and you go out there and you're like, hey, let's just, we gotta oppose the Mongols. The Mongols are too strong, it's, it's practically impossible. And you see this slaughter over here, would you just park your troops here? Would you just be like, let's just wait right next to them in reach of their spears and horses and everything, archers. Would you just do that? I don't think anybody would do that. You know, it's just like, uh, it seems a bit suicidal. <laughs> it's a bit suicidal. Get sacrificed, you son of a gun. Oh, let's go. I think we're gonna go for the full... <laughs> I think we're gonna go for the full mainland HRE. I don't know if they have titles anywhere else. I highly doubt it. No, I don't think... Oh, this one. Right, we, we gotta take this one down. Yeah, okay. I don't actually care for, like, a province inside of a province. We can do that later. At, at some point, that will be doable. Where I don't, you know, really have to worry about it. Uh, I don't think this is a topic for right now. I don't care for baronies. We're gonna get them eventually. I care for whole, uh, for whole provinces. There you go. Why are you doing this? Why, why did you just walk into me and die? Not very smart. Oh yeah, they're dead. They're hella dead. Can I capture the Pope? Can I capture the Pope? Oh, unlucky. I don't even know if he was commanding actually right there. Oh, you already did everything that you need to do. Thank you for your service. Your horse. 
And we are losing money because we're not pillaging, but that doesn't mean what, you know, it would usually mean under these circumstances. I'm gonna just dunk on you. Here you go. Get dunked on. You gotta be kidding me, dude. What a load of bullshit, just for the record here. What a load of bullshit. No, what? Oh god, dude, don't scare me like this game. Holy crap. Okay, I live... Uh, I need to have a, ki uh, a child. This is fine, don't worry about it. Need someone at a reasonable age. Sure, whatever, dude. What are, what are you gonna do about it? Unlucky. Unlucky, all I can say. Getting that event where you lose despite having an amazing uh, stats is very unlucky. But she did not have any daughters, so, you know, probably didn't deserve for her daughter to be an heir, seeing as there was no daughter. And we're gonna go with that, and I'm gonna go ahead and just get the uh, Become Exalted Among Men yet again. Nothing changes when it comes to money, when it comes to troops. We are literally in the same situation, except a different character. Alright. I'm gonna follow you. I'm just gonna... I just wanna clean that up over there. That looks good. Is this part of the HRE? I think it is. No, you're independent. Okay. Um, why don't you go over here then? You can keep sieging right here. Thank you very much. Battle was won. Beautiful. Oh, I can't even sacrifice him because I'm not a member. Ah, oh, how lame. Make me a member. Please. I gladly fight to prove myself. Whatever, bro. Uh, we're gonna catch you at some point. Yeah, that's okay. She's a, she's a mediocre fighter, but she'll live. She will live. Okay, looking good. Just looking around, just checking. We have entered the Eagle Warrior Society. Who are you? Did somebody just push a claim against the Mongols? Are you kidding me? The balls on that dude! What do you mean you pushed a claim? Oh well, you, you created a claim against the Mongols. Have you seen the Mongols? Alright, well, um, this is fine. This is also good. I am not really worried about this rebellion. But I'm not happy about it because I do have to send some troops back. You can do that. There you go. They should be fine. I know it's just one flank, but I think they will be fine. But I can't wait until all of this is over. Look, I'm- I like this playthrough, but if you think about it, like, this is the worst kind of Crusader Kings 2 uh, playthrough, where you- where it's all so tedious! You just have to click and click and click. How many kills with the previous character? Let's check out. Good idea. Uh, we got... 287. That's honestly not that many. Honestly not that many. I'm not gonna execute these people just yet. Not quite. Uh, what are you doing? Stop annoying me down here, please. Battle of Alon. Definitely gonna take you out. Thank you. I'm gonna siege you down, because why not, I guess? I said initially that I wouldn't do it. I do remember that. I do remember me saying that, but... Oh, actually, you know what? Why don't you just go over there, and you can clean the Pope up. More Polish rebels. Uh, I am no longer confident in my ability to beat up the rebels. Maybe I should be, I guess, but... I'd say I feel very confident in it. Excuse me? How dare you? 16 troops. I'm gonna give you a fairly good commander, I guess. The best thing I can do for you. Oh, there's gonna be... I think there's gonna be, like, a huge loss. We're gonna see. Rebels are horrible, of course, when it comes to, like, what kind of troops they have, but this is 10k. It's double the size. If I'm lucky, I can bait them in, I can finish this fight first, and only then will they get baited in, but we'll have to see about it. Oh, they don't get baited in at all, huh? I think the rebels actually know way better than I, uh, than I do. I think they are literally dead. I just did not realize it yet. How are we doing here? The Pope is dying. Very excellent. Very good. No, oh, I will not do that. Thank you. Raskin. Oh, they're coming. Well, let's see. Close one. This is, I think we're gonna lose it, but... Take a look at this. Nope, okay. Um, you should carry on over here. You should destroy these troops. I think we can do it here. God damn it. <laughs> I think we can do it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose this. I'm 99% I'm sure. Which I mean, I am certain. 
And indeed, I am certain. Actually, you know what? Here, just go up there as well. Uh, you can hide, like, down here. You're doing f good work. Uh, you've got to move. Hmm. <laughs> Man, this is a thoroughly sieged empire. Oh, come on, get out of here, please. I have to take care of Genoa. We did lose this battle, of course, but that's okay. We're gonna gather up, and then we're gonna get there, we're gonna... Oh, shit! You look at that. We lost, we actually lost the battle. Incredible. Thoroughly incredible. How long has the war been going on for? Let's take a look at this. Uh, let me just take a minute to do this. The war has been running for four, no, five years. Five years, honestly. Not as bad as I was expecting. Mm, I don't know if he's gonna siege Sadar, but even if he is, I don't care. We can take that in an individual war later on. You, uh, get together. Beat him up. Go we'll get him. This should work now, right? It is river crossing and everything, but come on, they're rebels. Rebel scum. I'm no longer stressed. Very cool. Uh, whoever you are, very cool as well. Um, doesn't really help me, of course, because he is a bastard, but you gotta take what you can. Alright, let's keep sieging here. Oh, why are you sieging this? I guess I left you here so that, like, no one can dunk on us from behind or something? I don't know. Probably my reasoning. Sounds like me. Can I, can I just assault this down? I can't. Are you kidding me, dude? I can't assault that down. They, the Mongols, realistically speaking, and yeah, I, I do want to point that out, of course. The Mongols were never, never at any point going to do what we're doing here. <laughs> Their achievements is a, a bit over the top, I think, but... You know, it, it is it is doable. It is very much doable, and we are taking out an entire empire here in just one fell swoop. And look at this. I do I do not like this. Take this out real quick. Then we're gonna move on. I don't like that. I should not have uh, commanded that battle. Oh god, I'm taking so much attrition here. Are we all going in there? No. Nope. Everybody go in there, please. Yeah, we lost some dumb battles here, I'll be honest with you. Like, straight up, just stupid battles. Walk into you, thank you. Keep on walking here. But the thing is, we have so much money, and we are going to have so much money. I cannot say that I'm particularly worried about losing... You know, obviously, when we started out in this game, we were very reliant on the 40,000 or maybe even 50,000, I can't remember, event spawn troops. Now, we are not relying on that at all anymore. I just use mercs. That, that's all we do. I just use mercs. There you go. Keep it up. Proud of you. Can't to sold this down, can I? Nope. Um, you can march over here, though. Alright. I think we are literally just gonna finish off the HRE. I think we can just completely push through you. This battle is over, you shall split. Beautiful. Hello, child. I do not know you, but you shall become a warrior, as we all shall become warriors. Hailed angry. Something, something. Reformation? Something, something. Me, the leader? Why are you occupying this? This is my land. Get out of here. Mm, you hate to see these troops. Th this is what I, me I meant. You hate to see these dumb troops in the back of of the fight. It's just uh, quite annoying. I'm gonna I'm gonna just move you and start cleaning up. Yeah. Schwitz has fallen. This will be a victory, of course. I will take the rebellion out. Take Zeeland. There you go. Holy crap, what a war. <laughs> Bankrupt in no time. 
Yep. Exactly right. And uh, let's retake. We take Köln here. Will we do anything else? We did indeed literally not loot at all, and it takes so damn long to, to run out of the money, so I don't I agree. There there's no worries. Will they actually keep this because Gartem Overn has sieged that down? Are you kidding me? Can't be right. Hey, back to Nordgau. We'll still take ages to siege. Don't know this man, but that's okay. Stop unseeging my land, I swear to god. Um, that's fine. <laughs> this is such bullshit. But I actually enjoy every second of the HRE literally just poof disappearing from the map. It will be glorious. Stop, Ovan, oh please. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, why are you doing this to me, though? Hmm. There's some land that I will miss, by the looks of it, because I, I just can't go and, and get Ovan's land unless I were to declare war in England, which is incredibly pointless. But let's not even worry about that. They have a, a decent force that they must have. Is this level 6 fort? It is, meaning that they can't actually take it down quick. I think we may be in time to just uh, kill them. I think I'm gonna send you... No, actually, I'm gonna send you down there. How many people can be here? 18k? What about over here? 18k. Uh, go over here, thank you. Wait, what? It was you. Stop sieging Köln immediately. Um, yes, looking good. So, finally, uh, you can do this. Thank you. And we're gonna go and fight the Germans in the mountains. It will be costly, but ultimately probably victorious. Let's just head in. Uh, when are you going to be in? 11th December, 11th December. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go get them, boys. Big penalties, big penalties, but I'm ready. Plus, we are, of course, on horses. Yes. You do this, and then you go back and siege that. Alright, big battle. Let's take a look. There are 9k more coming. Oh, wow, they have good tactics, though. Uh, the reinforcements. The reinforcements. Ah, center flank was close to breaking. And then the reinforcements just, uh, well, you know, what can you do? What can you do about a Mongol horde? I don't think you can do all that much. Uh, other than that, everything looking good. I don't like you. I don't know where you're going, though, so I'm just gonna give you the benefit of the doubt that you're not trying to sabotage me. Oh, Ixum, you're gonna, you're gonna see a big surprise in a second, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna see magic. That's how I would describe this, because it's just so damn beautiful. It is so damn beautiful. I don't want to siege down Vo, because that is already being sieged by Ovan. And take this then. And hey, look at this, beautiful. Ah, oh, 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 shit, I thought it, this was already sieged. God damn it. The price of decadence. Ooh. I don't know any of you. That's okay. Alright, we're gonna leave, there's gonna be a little bit, I'm 99% certain. Oh, stop attaching to me, please. Holy shit, that's a lot of attrition, don't do that. And there will be a little bit, I wanna say, of a... Uh... Why are you still attached to me? I guess it's okay there. And uh, there will be a little bit of the HRE left, because we cannot siege everything. Ovan has taken a couple of provinces, and while it sucks, I really just actually can't do anything about it. Like, they they will keep those. Actually, will they? We will get Augstahl, I guess. Why, why did they stop sieging this? Did they get beaten? I can't imagine that they got beaten by anyone, seeing as we have eradicated literally every single army. Yes, find the artifact. We still haven't found any artifact, dude. 
What a point to search. All right, we're almost done. And I am pregnant. Give me... Oh, okay, here we are. Give me a daughter, by the way. Oh, no. God damn it. What is this, by the way? They were... They were... <laughs> <laughs> They're just randomly occupying a piece of land. That's amazing. That will really help your cause, buddy. That's like, definitely. Damn, dude. It's crazy what you're doing. Give me a smart child. Give me a daughter, please. I wish I were to imprison... There's two polar bears. Are you kidding me? It's the same dynasty, isn't it? Oh, no. It's just it's literally the same dude. Fair enough. Understandable. Some random lady was slain, that's okay. Take you out over there, thank you very much. Look at this. Uh, why don't you just head over there, take him out. Sunni Uprising. Okay. Not really too worried about that. We can take care of all of this nonsense when we're done with this war. None of these rebellions could po- Ah, what? Still didn't siege this. Could possibly hope to uh, reach their goal before this war ends. This war is practically over at this point. I'm gonna send you up there nonetheless. Maybe I can actually clean them out already. Alright, we need... I want to say one more province. I can't get the top holding here unless Ovan pieces out, but I'm not waiting for one province on Ovan. Fuck out of here with that. Uh, the Sooner Rebellion is already over. Congratulations. <laughs> Wonderful. Beautiful. Uh, and with that, we are actually practically ending it. When it comes to this war, that is. Yes. Yes. Hey, look at that beauty. Look at this beauty. Um, I want to take at least one holding here. I don't think it's going to do what I want it to do, but better than nothing, right? And we, of course, still need to take this. This will be the last siege. Of this war. The Siege of Mont Belliard. Probably not how I pronounced it, but don't worry about it, buddy. Look at this nonsense. <laughs> the Emperor just died again. Um, yes. We got super lucky, by the way, as well, that there was no rebellion while this war was going on. Uh, when is this being sieged? Close. Oh, he just left. Holy shit. It will almost be over. So much land of what we need will be conquered in one fucking war. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So much land. Oh. That's great. Sacrifice him, baby. Get him out of here. Stop sieging this. Just re-raise this troops. Stop that. Is it done? No. Come on. There we go. It is done. It is actually done. The war's over. I think I did not overlook anything. I may have, but even if so, it will be trivial. We even sieged this down. We even sieged that down. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Ah. Who's playable winning the crusade? Uh, I, let's say I selected a bear as a crusade beneficiary. Yes, you could play as them. Bears are playable. I haven't been lucky enough in my life to play them, but they are absolutely playable. It, it is a thing that you can do. Oh god. We did it! It's done! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Here comes the looting. Here comes the looting. First of all, uh, ear rape coming in. Back yourself before you wreck yourself. And now, uh, I'm gonna press left click C a whole lot of times. The German question <laughs> has no longer to be asked. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a... Uh... <laughs> now this is gameplay. There's gonna be a lot of rebellions, just for the record here. There's a lot of people living here. Well, not for long, but there will be a lot of rebellions. Seeing as we are burning all of these down and making them into Mongols. <laughs> oh my god.
The list still is not being reduced. It's still out of the screen. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna check actually if the HRE title still exists after we're done initiating the pillaging. The requirements for the achievements are to hold the entire HRE, Empire of Rus, Wendish Empire, Byzantine Empire, Carpathia, Hispania, and Italia. And Francia, of course. And that's all of them. Uh, yes, that is all of them, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> the list is still off screen. Oh, this is horrible for my hands. You know, when my doctor asks later on, what did you do? What, what did you do to yourself, you absolute idiot? Then uh, we got the answer right here. This is it. Definitely, without a doubt, this is it. And I do think, yeah, England is a tributary of uh, Brittany. Holy crap. Oh my god. My hand is actually not having... Oh, there we go! Salvation may yet come. Holy crap. Oh, holy shit, he's done it. Oh my god. <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we've done it. We have pillaged what was to pillage. And you know what? When we do Germany, we might as well just do the entirety of Poland as well. They keep rebelling and, and I think it's time, you know, these, these few extra clicks, I think I can afford them. I think I can afford to do them. Take away everything, every single thing. Every last bit of it. Hey, I'd like to revoke your title, my friend. I think they are the last you. Okay. Oh, I can't do it while the war against the rebels is still going. Um, I don't need any of these boats. Goodbye. I will reposition all of you so that we have like troops, you know, roughly everywhere, I guess. Something like this anyway. Man, what I'd give for the Hearts of Iron 4 rebel management right now. Good. Uh, let's get rid of these as well. Let's defeat the rebels and then we can walk. <laughs> there go the rebellions, eh? Uh, let's take down all of these. Thank you. Alright, well. Uh, here come the rebellions. Here we are. Take this one out. This one's already being taken out. You can take this one out. Take this one out. And that is about it. I'm there. Speaking of goodbye, I need all of this land. I wonder how much money we're gonna make here now. Maybe? Are you kidding me? What are you going to do? Rebel? He actually rebelled. Are you kidding me? He's an emperor now. Who, who rebelled with him, I wonder? Actually, no one. Not even the Muslim. Like, not even the Muslims down, uh, down there. Sure, burn the apostate. Not even a white piece, seriously. Who else rebelled with you? Oh. Oh, that's actually convenient. Oh. Take him down. This is looking good. Uh, you will go over here, over there. Oh my god, so many. So many rebellions. We can do it. I, I believe in ourselves. We can absolutely do it. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, who else? You guys, huh? Yeah, we need some more troops in the east, no doubt. Oh my... <laughs> okay, uh, what are we looking at here? People sieging things down, that's okay. 
<laughs> this is actually really dumb. Yeah, liberation of Germany, my ass, buddy. Not on my watch. Come on, just end the battle, please. Okay, okay. What are we? What are we up here? There you go. We go. We, we can get him. We we can get you guys. You're on the way over here anyway. Uh, I can destroy this army. Yes. Should be able to anyway. Quickly make sure that there you go. Just in case that actually does impact game of uh, performance. So we can get rid of them over there. Thank you. Okay. I don't know who you are, but thank you, dear Mangu Timo. Ah. Fascinating. Okay, doing a good job here. But what is he doing? What the fuck is he doing, man? The Abbasids are mad. What does he want? He wants the chiefdom of Ain Said. Well, I don't think so. And we're gonna call in everyone into these wars and. We're gonna make sure that everyone is focused on the on the uh, caliph down here. Everybody, take out the caliph. I got the rebellions. Don't worry about it. Okay, this one is going well. Thank you. We can take you out here. The rebellion is over. This one is still going. That's fine. Can I pillage more land? Yes, actually. There you go. The Khalif is just actually mad. Okay, more people rising up. That's fine. We should be able to end all, if not uh, most, if not all of these rebellions in a couple of seconds. Even if it only comes down to a white piece. We should absolutely be able to do that. Because we have defeated them numerous times. And even if they uh, want to keep fighting, you know, if they don't want to surrender, they most of the time will just say we're good to go in terms of white piece which also ends up in their imprisonment so I do not really care yeah, I'm not assaulting is that crazy and the Cleves are always so confident even if they have nothing they are very confident Iksum really wants me to take uh, Finland <laughs> and the thing is I don't know where we're gonna expand to next I just know uh, we gotta safeguard Germany as you can see right here Germany is in a bit of a difficult spot right now a lot of angry people that don't want to be destroyed understandable I, I mean I get it but you know you, when you go you gotta go what do you want to say damn Nurnberg is gone oh and the Karakorum statue look at that beautiful absolutely gorgeous it's a horse guys it's a motherfucking horse what else can we build here um they're all so bad they're all so damn bad I guess tavern? Tavern always helps. Horse opinion, plus five by the way. Okay, take him out, take him out, thank you. This one will be gone in a second. Over. We will, no doubt, hire more mercs. Once uh, I feel like it, really. That's like the primary reason, I think. I haven't done it yet. Who are you? Catholic Uprising. Are you all the Catholic Uprising? Well, unlucky for you, your boss is ready to sell you out. Bye, peace. You're gone. As it happens. I think I'll park you in Savoy. You can go right over here and take care of this. This was over. Which means that I can now go and revoke both of these. Council, really? Just, uh... You all love me. Who the hell has these... You. Iksum! Welcome to being a Baron. Thank you for becoming a member. You get the perks and the benefits of that member tier. Thank you so much. Uh, you are... Are you in the Discord? I know you are on the CK3 Discord. I think you are on the Kingdom of Varia Discord as well, right? Let me do this.
I can't make you out right now. I'll, I'll give you the role when the stream is over, if you are on the Discord indeed. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Um, you are supporting the channel directly. And yes, by the way, there is still the, the wealthy Infinist here. That is going crazy. You know what, Ixum? We're gonna we're gonna conquer Finland, okay? I'm gonna do you the favor. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do you the favor, I suppose. I shall conquer and destroy your home. <laughs> if you so wish. If you want to see a home bur a home burning. Then we can we can fulfill you that wish. Why is the Caliph not giving up yet? Fuck. Why is this independent? What is this? You know what? I'm just gonna peace out, peace out the Caliph. I have no idea what's going on here. Sure. White piece. What? Are they actually defeating me? That's incredible. Oh shit, because I didn't have any commanders. Crazy. Alright. Uh, it's you. No white piece yet. Okay, fair enough. Damn! They defeated us, fair and square. So many rebellions, good god. Nothing down there yet, this is fine. Are you? If that is your wish, we shall indeed destroy Finland. shall happen. Uh, I'm gonna become an inspiring leader here. We shall destroy Finland right after we destroy all of Germany. Now, I think Finland will be considerably easier. Because this is just, it's so many damn rebellions. Um, shut them down over here. Can I just take you out? That's a white piece, thank you. There you go. Okay, we can have a white piece on you as well. Can I destroy more land? Couldn't I- shouldn't I be able to revoke something here? Wait a minute. Yes, you. Revoke. Bye. Village. Holy shit, my fingers. Uh, let's take you down, let's take this down. Another Catholic uprising, that's fine. They are already losing the battle. Come on, let's get him. We have become exalted among men thanks to all of these rebellions. <laughs> and we still don't have a daughter. The fuck is this curse on this family? She also does not have a child yet. Oh my god, we're actually... No way, we're not gonna run out of children, are we? Um, I have to change some laws, I feel. I think, if nothing else, I will just go and change some laws. Could I marry you? No, you are... Somewhere else. I can marry you. I'm gonna marry you. Um to random lady number two. Marry you as well. I'm gonna lose that property, my man. Not a good idea. Okay. Okay, we're doing, we're doing good. We're doing well. And good, I guess. Same thing, really, if you're the Mongols. Beautiful. Holy crap. Oh. Don't take hungry. This post was made by the other hungry gang. We will take down hungry because I actually need it for the achievement. Uh, I will destroy the uh, Slovaks, the Hungarians. All of you are gonna get destroyed. No exceptions. Except if you are not, you know, if I don't have to take you out, I guess. Uh, if they take that, I don't actually care, so who cares? Uh, let's build up Karakorobai. We are up to 60,000 bucks already, by the way. I, I just want to point that out, just for the record here. 60,000 bucks. Holy shit. I'm recruiting some mercs now, so that I have them available at all times. Uh, who are the biggest mercs? Ooh, only 4k. Are you kidding me? Go on. You two. Just come on over. Walk the walk. Ah, oh, some peace and quiet right now in Germany. Nope. Uh, I can challenge this man. Sure. He will destroy you. 
I love that every time when we go out and destroy an entire people, we destroy this entire realm, damn non nobis domine place. It was the same case last time. It just straight up, the game's just like, yep, this is a holy task, everybody. Uh, by the way, no vessels are fighting each other, no count or higher tier vessel has a negative opinion of you. Hmm. Put in force realm peace. Can I get people to like me? No. The answer is a definitive no. Is there some people here that are feudal? Yeah, all right. We, we, I would change the laws otherwise to males included. It might be necessary long term if- Oh god, are we actually running out of people? Are you joking? Oh my god. Uh, I need girls, please. Off a concert, by the way. Oh, okay, yeah, I have neglected the concept of becoming a larger family. But I think I can no longer neglect it. All the people that I just handed out, by the way, were peasant rebels. <laughs> All of them were former peasant rebels, and now they're just married to my family. Hey, what can I say? You gotta do what you gotta do. I need someone that is lustful here. No one is lustful? Are you joking? The fuck is that all about? Oh, you. Very. Then also take- a, Dude, so many rebellions all of a sudden. Take a couple of concerts, if you will. Yeah, all of these are straight. Just rebels. Sure. Uh, we're winning this fight, that's good. We can take... Jifty! Welcome to being an account member of the channel. Thank you so much for becoming a member and supporting directly, of course, what is going on in the channel. Do you have any special wishes? Leave Britney alone. <laughs> I think those days are long gone. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. She's doing quite well, isn't she, uh, these days? I haven't heard any negative headlines about her uh, in a long time. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much again. My sacrifice was not in vain. Kulan is growing into a healthy and bright girl. Wait a minute, I have a daughter. Hell yeah, brother. I wasn't aware, I gotta admit. I, I gotta tell you. I wasn't fully aware that I actually had a daughter. One. She's not going to inherit because I believe she's not fully grown up. We need more fully grown up people there. Okay, how's it going? This is all going well. These fights are going to be won. You can go over there. You should go a bit north, I suppose. Uh, what is this? Bremen. That's for you. Bremen. And I, I can piece you out. I can probably piece out the other one as well. Second liberation of Bavaria. Yeah, that's not happening. Can't white piece. Uh, go a bit further north. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, by the way, while we are here in chat, I wanted to talk about this. Um, the next multiplayer game that we're gonna do is obviously gonna be the Clash of Faiths, except a bit extended. We, there, there are some different rule sets and whatnot, and all that sort of stuff. Different map. I was thinking after that, maybe like just a casual Elder Kings game, just like a huge Elder Kings game, no teams, just some basic behavioral rules and then we just, you know, get, go at it. What do you guys think about that? Etchery had to be the hardest war. Um, it was not particularly hard, it was just tiresome. We were superior in every meaning of the word. He never stood a chance. Go up there, you just, yeah, go there. Like, it wasn't even close. Oh, come on, dude, seriously. No rebellion down there, which is nice. Uh, you can go over there, infidel scum, yada yada, you know the drill. Uh, attacking into the mountains, I hate it, which is why I'm actually gonna give the commanders to this army. It's bleeding for some reason. Oh, bye. I think I'm just gonna white piece you if I can. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Oh. 
Banner's over in a second. The white piece is done. Very nice. Very nice. Nope, don't do that. So Elder Kings is... Oh no, okay. So Elder Kings is Elder Scrolls, yeah. Uh, Game of Thrones, I don't... I don't feel confident in doing one of the big multiplayer games that we usually do. Primarily because Game of Thrones can go wrong very quickly as in it desyncs and like everybody gets thrown out or like people just are too slow because you know at the end of the day game of thrones is an insanely demanding and insanely demanding mod start with all of these rebellions please take them out get them out of you uh you can get them out of there that's fine you can do this one okay Okay, very nice. You win this, right? Yeah. You can destroy them. Okay. So far, so good. Shifty, thank you so much. That's exactly what that does. Um, I can put more time uh, into YouTube. The, the more I earn. It is like, it's actually genuinely, I've been able to put so much more time into this ever since I was able, you know, I mean, most people weren't here yet, but let me just like give you a small rundown. I started this channel obviously just as a hobby. There was no, I'll be honest with you. No, okay, listen here. Don't, don't tell Paradox. Actually, you can tell Paradox. It's perfectly fine. But I started this channel and I said to myself, I buy every goddamn Paradox DLC and I'm having a good time with it. But if I just recorded the time that I played anyway, wouldn't they just give it to me for free? That was literally my intention, and I haven't requested anything from Paradox in like literally seven months, I want to say, because there was no new releases for CK2. Um, but that is how it all started. I worked a side job, I study, and the side job was uh, a very lengthy one. I, uh, it was essentially in a hotel, right? And I worked partially in a reception, I worked partially uh, during the night order, that sort of stuff. It's classic student work. And ever since I was able to quit in October, and did only YouTube, started doing only YouTube, I was able to do so much more focus on the entire, on everything regarding to YouTube. And that is exactly where this goes as well. The more I'm able to, uh, you know, get with this, the more I'm able to actually like live off of this, the more work I can put into it without feeling bad about it because I should do other things. Oh, I just executed him by accident, god damn it. Would not have executed that man. Should have done something else. Why is he such a huge... Why are you so big, buddy? And he's just here for a duchy as well. The hell is he doing? Um, give me... So yeah, it's it's a huge support. I really, really appreciate it. I, I want to point that out. It is definitely something that enables me to put way more work into the entirety of this thing. Um, let's eradicate you. Okay. I think we just need to get rid of a couple of more of these and then we're gonna see them peace out as well. It'll happen any second now, really. Come on, man. Oh, of course. Down there now. Okay, I think I can peace out two rebellions here now. Nope, apparently not. Can I ever peace you out? It's been a journey on the channel so far. It's been a journey. I, I study law at university, yeah. I would love to stream, but I fear the lack of fluency in English. Not really, but I'm not that talkative as uh, Ogby. If you want to do yourself a favor, and I'm still not the most excited and like pumped up streamer there is, but if you want to do yourself a favor, go back, go to the channel, One Proper Variant, go to videos, and select Sword by Oldest. There's a Hearts of Iron 4 series. You'll know, you'll know what I mean when you see it, okay? You gotta start somewhere. And as with all things, wherever you start, you know, some people start as very uh, extroverted people, some people don't. But you can work as uh, your, your way towards, uh, you know, just talking more, being more out there, being more expressive, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Ixum, I remember for months. I remember you you were like in the in the CK3 Discord as well. You you were like, yo, are you gonna do Monarch's journey? And I was like, you know what, that's a good call. But right now I don't have any plans. But yeah, we are mono we, we are definitely like hammering home the Monarch's journeys now these days. Uh, I know that was like a long-standing request of yours. More German rebels. I, I mean, come on man. <laughs> How many German rebels are there? Up. Stop resisting, please. 
All right, take him out. Um, all of this looking good. Who cares about those sieges? Gonna take him out right here. Where are they even going? There you go. I don't like the number of troops that we're looking at here for sure. Come on. Have we already gotten rid of any... Damn dude. They're all still just deteriorating. I guess they're like so... Oh holy shit, we're actually gonna come out with like what? 200,000 bucks here? Right? Because it's gonna take ages. Every six months, one building is destroyed. But there's so many buildings in these. That's crazy. I, I, I gotta tell you, no, I, I, I keep those videos around, those very old videos, because I sometimes, I think whatever you do in life, you always should look back and take a long look at what you're doing better, what you could still do better, and you know, what you haven't done better at all, where you know, you, you still have so much air upwards. And I would be very, very sad if I ever found a situation where I look back at a video, you know, from like even a month ago, when I look back at a video, and I say to myself, I didn't get better. I want to continuously get better because I know it's possible. I know, you know, it's just like a matter of uh, putting more time and thinking about what I want to do, how I want to organize things and so on and so forth. And there's always, hopefully, there's always air upwards because if there isn't, then that would be very sad. That would be a, a sad state of affairs. Oh, come on, man, seriously? A sad state of affairs. So yeah, no, it's horrible. It was good. Shh. Jesus Christ, dude. I, it was awful. But, you know, without it, couldn't have gotten better, could I? It's one of those many things where, where really practice makes all the difference. Okay, we're gonna peace out here. I cannot believe just how long this takes. <laughs> how long the destruction takes. Then again, I guess we are destroying everything here. Does make a lot of sense. Uh, grant me a strong child, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Is this my enemy? Catholic Uprising probably is, right? Holy crap, it's just so many people rising up. No peacing. They're uh, peacing out yet, huh? We're gonna get this done, eventually. Well. Should go over here, thank you. Jesus Christ, there's just so many rebellions. That's actually insane. And it takes so long to, to just, like, quell the rebellions. Get them out of here. Okay, we're gonna take you down. Beautiful. Um, we're gonna take you down. Beautiful. And we are absolutely going to take you all down. Come on, Bohemia. Why? Why do you do this to yourself? Come on, take him down. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm losing track of how many people I'm defeating. Um, why don't you step up here? I think I can piece you out by now, can't I? No, okay. There. You need to go up there. You can take care of Prague. Get dunked on. You can surely be pieced out, yeah? I will not, sorry. Are you crazy? Oh my god. There's too many of them. Alright, we caught him here. Very good. Turn around. Did you hear that death sound? Someone whispered like, just like, he just, oh, into my ear. I swear that I've never heard that one before. Playing tall is one of the miracles that I still have not uncovered. Also, thank you for the kind words, Ixum and, and Shifty, of course. I really appreciate the support. It, you know, it's, it's just like, it's insane that this is, like, that this channel and that, you know, this community, holy shit, I'm super, I am super glad that the community is the way it is. Every, whenever, you know, you get anyone watching, it's insane. I remember, so you have stats, right, in, in YouTube, and I can't show it without like, showing stuff that YouTube might ban me for. Let me actually take a look if I can, like, arrange it in a way. But there... There was a way 
to tell, and actually I can't do it, but there was a way to tell. Every, essentially, you see views that come in every hour, right? And when I was very, very tiny, when, when no one knew that this channel existed, you could sometimes see people watch, like, in the hour, binge watching a series. It was insane. It was an absolute fucking thrill. And it, it was so wild. The idea that someone is binge watching something that, that you've done, it's crazy. Absolutely insane. And yeah, playing tall is essentially you just build your kingdom up instead of taking more land. Now what I'm doing here is playing <laughs> very not tall. We're playing very wide, okay? But I, I gotta tell you, like, it's been an insane journey. Um, and, and hopefully it's gonna continue. Be strange if not. Ooh. That. Why do I have another sun? Get out of here, sun. I do not care for thee. So many suns. I'm already marrying off just so that I don't forget about it later. It's 12. Um, I don't want to marry him to any Christians because they're probably going to lose their property when I knock at their door. Door, oh, random lady. Start with these rebellions, I swear to God. I don't know. You. Alright, doing quite well. Oh, the merc <laughs> The mercenaries are actually arriving. They've done it. They exist. I wasn't quite sure yet, but they do exist. <laughs> it took him long enough, eh? Stop rebelling, I swear to god. This is such a prestige spam. Um, you need to go. No doubt about it. Got him. Oh god, that's a big rebellion. Wait, the hell is this? German re Dude, that's a huge German rebellion right here. Christ. Oh yeah, this is this is big. This is big. Look at that. Christ. They are only rebels, but that is an insane amount of rebels. And yeah, there are still people in Germany. They refuse to leave. Uh, they, they just rebel all the time instead. It's actually gonna make it not on my watch. Hey, uh, sure, you are on. Whatever, bro. I don't know you. Maybe relatives, but I do not know you. I will insult you, because why not? Bavaria and Germany are both rebelling very frequently at this time. Okay. Okay, we got him. Oh, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. All Catholic infields, of course. Who are you? Polish Liberation World. How are they still... Didn't we, like, finish that off a million years ago? Uh... There? Oh, actually, there. Got him. Right, beautiful. Oh, there's, there's the other... <laughs> there's the other mercenaries. Can I hire more mercenaries? Are there any that are, like, big and worthwhile? Oh, yeah, I guess, actually. It's gonna take ages to walk over, so I might as well hire them now. <laughs> Who are you? Wait, why are you here? Who the hell are you? Hmm. That's okay. <laughs> this is real dumb. But I love it. Actually, like, real fucking dumb. I stop rising up now. It's it's time to go to bed, buddies. Let's call it a day. Can I co uh, catch you? Absolutely can.
Yes, we are rivals now, foreign man, that I have no idea who you are. No rebellions. Who could have known that this moment could ever come? Yeah, the thing is, all of these still have so many buildings. It will take like maybe six more years just to siege down all of Germany. That's insane. Waiting for the Dejura Drift is a big part of it. I agree. The uh, This is about uh, good old days, the Frisia achievement, right? It's insanely tedious. I 100% agree. But I mean, so is this. There's so many incredibly tedious achievements. It, it's, it's just outrageous. Ranz. Value. Oh, we actually did. Upper Silesia is done and dusted. What the fuck is going on with my vessels? They're real mad. They're real mad at each other. Certainly. Yes. There are no Polish people anymore. Actually, the, there might be some here. There are a few Russians, but very, very few. Oh, look at that. We actually pushed in here. Those buildings are already gone. Who know mids of retinues? They do. Uh, it's called, in their case, the Horde. And, uh, yeah, I could recruit a billion of them. I Like, this is the manpower that we have. I just am not recruiting a billion, I guess, because, like, we already have mercs out of our ass. I might as well. At least that's my thinking. I know a lot of people actually play a lot of the Horde. Um, it's just, like, in this particular playthrough, it's so incredibly powerful what we have i i don't really bother now we're not there yet just for the record but where should we go next should we go all the balkans should we oh no actually i mean we're gonna do finland of course but should we do all the balkans after should we do all of italy or should we do all of france after i think those are the main questions oh karakorum is not building anything Global me uh, movement speed, don't mind if I do. You know what? Actually, we can take Finland right now. I'm just gonna detach two people here. Go up. Take them out. We have enough army standing around over here. What's the point? Might as well. Might as well. Stop rising up, please. Please, the activity. I will not sacrifice anything. Who gives a shit? Wait, where's the other rebellion? Oh. Right. Oh, come on. <laughs> you take a white piece. Okay. Saves me a lot of trouble. We are now at 148,000 bucks. I think... It was the right decision to go for Germany and not for Jerusalem. Look at the amount of money that we have of Germany. <laughs> this amount of money is just outrageous. Nomads, everybody. <laughs> this is why, and I'm not even kidding, this is why the Nomads did not make it into Crusader Kings 3. <laughs> because the system is just utterly broken. Uh, we're gonna take attrition here, but honestly, who gives a crap? They're mercs or they are uh, part of our leftover event troops. We're fine. I haven't hired a single... single uh, horde troop yet. We can do that in time. We're gonna be fine. Berlin is over, you got beaten up, and now we go into Finland. Hello there. How art thou doing? Invasion of Finland, by the way. Who's sitting on this? Who are you? Why is, why is Accra up here? Can I guess? No. Very strange. God, always looking back at Germany, so tedious. If I had an automatic AI, man, what I would give just for an automatic AI, and you down there, already being beaten. Beautiful. Oh, I will just assault this for sure. Another raving mob of infidels. That's cool. 
worry about it. Let's go. Oh, I need to hand out more land. Yo, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely it's happening. Now, we need to hand out five pieces of land. Oof. Hope we can find any quickly that... That aren't too... You know, because like we have a lot of German uh, locations now. By me randomly clicking through here, I might make a mistake, but this looks good. Two more. Are you seeing the lag spike, by the way, whenever I open Grand Landed Title? Are you seeing this? It lags for like a, a couple of moments every damn time. Oh, god, god. Uh, why don't you take these out? Thank you very much. Who are you? Mongol army. Eh, no. That's okay. Yo, oh, look at it. Everything completely destroyed. That's the dream. Denmark is actually taking over everything, huh? You're not fully done yet. That's okay. Oh, this assault again. Here we go. Alright. We have entered Finland. Are being plundered, Finland. Consider yourself plundered. Uh, invasion of Finland. Come on, man. Dare defy me. In my game, the Mongols own so much that I couldn't call a crusade against them. My PC literally couldn't handle it. <laughs> Uh, I did crash yesterday, just for the record. My my computer did crash yesterday when we took over Russia. It handles this now with much more grace, which I'm very thankful for. Look at that. Uh, but it did crash yesterday. It, you know, I, I don't know. Probably just like bad heating. It's a stock cooler and everything. It is nothing fancy. Like it's a it's a decent setup, but it's it's not like I uh, running around with amazing cooling features and whatnot. How many troops do we have? 124. So we do have more troops than we had before we attacked Germany. Uh, who are you? Not relevant to me. That's okay. Uh, how do I... You on Basel. There you go. Alright, beautiful. You can go for them. Keep it up. Proud of you. Let's go! Let's take them all down. I don't even look at the rebellions anymore. I just hope that we're gonna get there eventually. <laughs> hey, I can finally level up. Very nice. Oh, and they're gonna re-siege this, hey? You absolute son of a gun. Don't do it. More German rebels. I think I can just piece you out. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take you out so that you can't re-siege. And then we're gonna siege the rest here. Finland should not take very long. And we might actually, I mean, we might just go for all of Denmark and Sweden, right? I don't think I'm gonna revoke Denmark and Sweden, though. Because why would I bother, right? Why, why bother with that if there's barely anything there to begin with? Let's go. Ooh, we destroyed a lot of holdings here yet again. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that. It's happening. I need- oh my- okay. This is a good point. We'll call the stream. Uh, I'm gonna hand out 41 counties next time I stream. Which will probably be somewhere during next week. I'm actually gonna stream during weekdays. Uh, I think that should be fine. I only have to write some papers now at the at this moment, so uh, this is fine. But I'm gonna hand out 41 counties off camera. Uh, it will be wonderful. Act no, you know what? Vladimir, I create you. Uh, you. I give you Vladimir, maybe? Oh, hell yeah. No? Did not, did not actually work. Does not, does not actually hand it over. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna do this off camera. Um, I'm gonna hand out 41 goddamn counties. Ah, this was a fun stream. 
despite like the way that this is very tedious actually you know what let me ah, no i don't want to if i continue now we're gonna have a minor clan revolt and i do not want to risk that um i will be back with this playthrough in the next stream probably honestly wait which day is it today saturday i think we're just gonna stream tomorrow i wouldn't know right i think we're gonna stream tomorrow yet again and uh, same time as always and we're gonna yeah we're gonna continue this run I'm gonna continue this and I'm gonna hand out 41 counties off camera seeing as I can't hand them out with the kingdom tier title I want to say thank you to all of you for stopping by for being here I in particular want to of course thank the uh, new members Ixum and Shifty thank you so much for joining up and directly supporting the channel it really does mean a lot to me and look at that holy shit look at how much we took over in this single stream insane we played for like 20 years wonderful absolutely beautiful Drog, are you for are you for real, Drog? If I have max clans, I just cannot get a clan revolt. Oh, that is that is a relief, dude. Holy shit! I want to still. I gotta I gotta head out. My voice slowly but surely is disintegrating. I will be back tomorrow, same time as always, and uh, I will see you there. Thank you so much for coming by. Again, thank you so much to Shifty and Xoom for becoming members of the channel. I really do appreciate it. It supports the channel directly and means the world to me, seeing as I can put more work into it. And, uh... Ah! Oh, now that I know that I can't get a clan revolt, easy money. Easy freaking money. Alright, either way, I will see you guys tomorrow or in the respective episodes. Thanks for joining. Have a good one. Dude, it's raining like crazy outside. I didn't even hear that over the music. But here we are. Bye-bye. Later. Alligator. <laughs>